Hello everybody, sorry I'm running a little late, but uh, we are just about to get rocking and rolling. We just gotta play with Jimbo first. Um, but before I get even to that, if you like this video, please like it down below. We unlocked a giveaway in this video uh, for as a thank you for getting this video 150 likes last video. So if we can get 200 likes, we're gonna keep that giveaway train a rolling. So try to get this video to 200 likes and we'll do another giveaway next live stream. I'll talk more about the giveaway during the video, by the way. Um, but yeah, just before I get going there, let's play with Jimbo a little bit, get that energy out of him so that he's not too crazy during the stream. Uh, and yeah, I'll be going in just a moment. See you in a sec. Hey, quick question. Uh, we're gonna get going into. Oh my gosh, the cat is going wild. 
I love my cat so much. <laughs> um, is the sound li a little crackly, the music? It's sounding a little crackly from my end, but I'm not really sure if that's coming through on the live stream or not. Okay. Well, I think it's time to rock and roll, Mr. Jimbo. Yeah, you look very cute. He's rolling on the ground at my feet. Okay. Here we go. Perfectly timed. <laughs> Only like way too late. Hey everybody, welcome to the stream. Oh my gosh, I did the thing that I always do. I forgot to clean my glasses. Hi everybody, I told myself beforehand too, don't forget to clean your glasses, Lou. You do that every time. Hi everybody, I hope everybody is doing well and having a great day. Uh, we have an echo? Maybe? Maybe not. I don't know. Hi everybody in the chat. Welcome to the chat. Um, today we are crocheting an ice cream cone. Well, not just any ice cream cone. Today we're going to be making an ice cream buddy, which is like, well, let me just show you actually, because we're not going to show you with this one, because that one's special and I'll talk about that in just a second. An ice cream buddy is the newest pattern on the website and it kind of looks like this. It's an ice cream cone, but what's a little buddy inside? Look at this little cutie patootie. Isn't he cute? He's also got a patootie. Of course he's got a patootie. And so today we're gonna be making our own ice cream buddy and we're going to be voting on it throughout the chat on how we want to make our ice cream. So what kind of uh, flavor ice cream do we want? What kind of cone do we want to make? What do we want to add to our ice cream to make it better? Um, whether that be something like sprinkles or a hat or whatever. We're going to be voting on that in the chat today. And uh, yeah, that's the deal. In fact, we're voting right now on what flavor ice cream we want to make. So to get us started before we even get going, do we want to make a vanilla, chocolate, strawberry, or mint chocolate chip ice cream cone? You can vote now in the chat, and uh, we'll choose that in just a moment as I get through my intro. Speaking of, uh, this is a brand new pattern. It's out right now on um, the website. You can find it at clubcrochet.com slash ice cream, or it's available on the website in general. I have it for sale today for $2 off uh, uh, just for this weekend, um, just because I like you and I want it to. Uh, you can also get it with the Club Crochet membership, which we'll talk about in just a second. Um, before we do that though, let's talk about all the materials that we're going to need by pulling from our newest seasonal crochet kit. So this is the newest of our seasonal crochet kits um, out now. And in this kit, we've been working out of to make all the patterns from the season, including our donuts and everything. Um, oh shoot, I forgot. We want to go live on Instagram as well. I have a really cool setup today where I've got my camera set up here and a web and my iPhone set up here so that I can like stream both at the same time. So I thought what would be fun is we could stream on Instagram, try to get people to go from Instagram to our YouTube channel and join our chat. Kind of fun, right? So 
Uh, I'm gonna hit live on Instagram and we'll say hi to everybody. Uh, and here goes nothing. And we're just gonna have to explain all this there as well. Okay, we're live on Instagram. Hi Instagram, hi Reddit, or sorry, hi YouTube, hi Instagram. We're live on both. Um, okay, so today we are making our ice cream cone and we're gonna choose our materials from our brand new seasonal crochet kit out now. Uh, if you want to get one, it's a great way to support the channel. And it looks like today we're gonna be making a mint chip ice cream cone based on the vote, just because there's already been 66 votes on it, which is wild. And 58% uh, of the votes are voting for mint chocolate chips. So we're definitely gonna be using our cyan yarn today for our main color. So we'll go ahead and pull that out. We're gonna need our beige yarn for the cone of our ice cream, of course. And let's see, what else will we need? Oh, safety eyes, doy. We're gonna definitely need our safety eyes. So let's go ahead and pull those out the back here. Uh, these ones are eight millimeter. We might use those. Um, I believe I have six millimeter. Here they are. Might use a six millimeter. And let's see. Oh, and our black thread. We want, we're gonna want that for the face of our ice cream cone as well. We might use our black yarn instead. And then there might be some other yarn that we might wanna use during the stream also just like um if we want to add hats or what have you to our um yeah to our stuff uh but yeah we'll put that to the side there i think that's all we need from our seasonal crochet kit today but we'll put this to the side just in case uh we need it but look at we still have so much materials from our season like we haven't even used like half of our materials yet and we've made almost all the patterns in the season, which is why it's great that there's alternative patterns for this, uh, these seasonal kits too, so you can make like other stuff if you have extra materials. Okay, so we're gonna place these down right here. We got our crochet hook. Today we're using a size G four millimeter crochet hook. It's my favorite kind of hook to use with the yarn that we're gonna be using, which as you can tell is our worsted weight cotton yarn. Um, yeah, so we're gonna need a size G four millimeter crochet hook. Uh, we'll need some scissors for, you know, cut and stuff. We'll need our darning needle with a curved end and a little bit of stuffing. And that's all the materials that you need. If you want to get the pattern for this uh, ice cream cone, you can find it at clubcrochet.com slash ice cream. Okay. Whew. That was a lot, right? That was a lot. That was quick and a lot. I do have more that I want to tell you though, but we have a lot of crocheting to do. So we might want to do both simultaneously. Um, so why don't we do that? Why don't we start crocheting? Um, let's end our vote. Uh, for what color ice cream cone we're gonna make. Um, here we go, and the vote, because we have pretty unanimously voted for mint chocolate chip. We're gonna be doing more votes in just a second uh, for things like eyes and stuff, but for now, I think that'll do it. Uh, speaking of eyes, I don't know where I put my six millimeter safety eyes. You know what, I have an extra copy of them in there. Okay. Uh, all right, so that's everything you need to know there. You got the ice cream pattern, uh, and let's talk about how you can support this channel if you'd like to while we start crocheting. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and use our cyan yarn here, and hello to the chat. I, I know, hello, hi, 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 hi. Uh, I'll get to you guys in just a moment here. I just wanna get through all these intro things so that we can get it done with. Um, so, we're gonna be using our cyan yarn as our main ice cream color which is pretty fun. Okay, and pull out the pattern there. Um, all right, so that's everything you need. Oh, how you can support this channel if you'd like to. If you like what's going on here and you wanna support and you, you really think that this is great and you want there to be more, there's a few ways you can do so. The first way, the freest way, the cheapest way is just like this video down below and subscribe to the channel. Um, this blue is minty, it's a cyan. You don't think this is a minty color? You want it to be more like this? Is this is this more of a minty for you, Cindy? Cindy's in the chat uh, spouting that this blue ain't minty enough. I think it's pretty minty, but if, oh, it's Cindy. Cindy, well, you let me know. If you don't think it's minty enough, I get it. We'll, we can pivot. Um, okay, so 
Uh, da, 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 da. If you like what's going on here, the best way to support this channel, or sorry, the freest way, the cheapest way, is just like this video down below and subscribe to the channel. If you're on YouTube, please like and subscribe. If this video gets 200 likes, we're gonna do another giveaway next live stream because we're doing a giveaway right now. Um, if you want to join the giveaway, uh, we'll talk about that in just a moment as well. Also, this video is not going to be a video tutorial where I'm going to be teaching you how to crochet the ice cream cone because I already made one of those. If you want to watch the full length video tutorial, go to the pattern, get it. It's at clubcrochet.com slash ice cream. Um, there's a full length video tutorial. It took me like five hours to record. It would be really cool if you watched it. Um, <laughs> uh, oh, a lot of people are saying yes to the green. Yes to the green, huh? It is a different yarn. It's not our Club Crochet Amigurumi yarn, but I mean, it'll work, of course. It'll definitely work. I'm not really sure what kind of, oh, here we go. I've got the little yarn thing in here. Doesn't look like it's cotton though. Oh yeah, it's 50% cotton. So, I mean, that's okay. Cascade yarns. I think this was given to me by someone. We could use this instead. I'll tell you what, we'll do a vote real quick in the chat so we can vote uh, which color green we want to do. So a quick vote there. Which mint? Mo uh, cyan or I'm gonna say this one's a more of a tealy kind of green. Okay, so quick vote in the chat. Which one do you want? Do you want this more cyan one over here or do you want more of a minty kind of green one? Uh, let me know. I mean, I guess I just kind of said it. It's more of a minty green, but whatever. You vote and you let me know. Um, I'm vo personally voting for the one that is in our crochet kit, but you could do you. Um, okay. Uh, da, 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 da. All right, so we got like and subscribe. We got support the channel. Oh yeah, best way to support the channel. The best way to support the channel is with a Club Crochet membership. Members get early access to future patterns. They get access to the exclusive library, including our ice cream cone pattern and a whole bunch of other ones. I'm coming out with new ones all the time. Uh, membership started only $5 a month and you can even get a free trial. In fact, if you want to get a, even a better membership, you can get hold on, our seasonal membership, which gets you our giant seasonal crochet kits every single um, quarter. Uh, our newest season is going to be starting mid-April and that's going to be space themed. And with your seasonal crochet kits, if you sign up for like an annual pass, for example, you also get specialty pins for each kit. This was last season's pin. You can see it's very cute. It's a little donut and it comes on a magnet. So it's actually a magnetic pin that you can use on your um, refrigerator instead, or you can use it as a stitch marker holder. There's a lot of options for this. Next season's p special pin, just I just got it and it looks so cute and I'm really proud of it. Um, it's a little bigger than I was expecting, but I kind of love it. This is going to be next season's uh, seasonal crochet pin. Uh, it is not available in the um, in the shop just yet, but it will be available if you pre-order next season's pin, which I'm going to be uh, releasing for pre-order probably in a week or two. Um, and yeah, there's also a bunch of other pins available in the shop if you want to support with a pin purchase. Uh, it's a great way to help support the channel too. Okay, so that's memberships uh, and supporting with pins and stuff. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. I think that's about everything there. Um, yeah, I think that's about everything. Let's see, which color did you guys want to go with here? Looks like you went and went with the teal. All right, so we're gonna go with the teal, even though I just opened a brand new ball of yarn. Wah, wah, wah. That's okay. Um, teal is this one, by the way. Uh, two percent. Hello, two percent. I think you might be new in the chat. Hi, welcome to the chat. I don't know if you are. I also saw someone that I hadn't seen in forever in the chat. Who was that? Stitchcraft by Courtney. Hi, nice to see you again. Um, okay. Okay, we'll be using our more teal yarn per your request. Um, it, oh, ooh, we might have to like crochet a little looser than normal, but that's okay. Uh, okay, so we're also live on Instagram if you haven't noticed yet. If you wanna go watch live on Instagram, you know, go there, we're on Instagram. Uh, I just thought it'd be kind of fun if every single time we did a live stream, we also went live on either Instagram or TikTok and just kind of like, you know, a little bit more co-mingling and stuff. Um, all right, we're gonna get started on our pattern. As we do so, we're also gonna talk about our giveaway. 
and give some gifts to other supporters. If you want to uh, support this channel in uh, another monetary way, you can with a um, a tip, by the way. You can tip the live stream, and I'll put something out on the background for you during the stream. Hold on. There we go. I'm trying to get the pattern up here as I crochet. Okay, even though I'm pretty sure I know it, it took me freaking forever to crochet the, or to do the video tutorial, so you'd think I'd remember it by now. I've made about like eight of these. Um, and give me ideas while we're going, by the way, if you got any ideas for different additions that you want me to make to our ice cream cone, let me know in the chat. Uh, I am reading it. And I would love some ideas if you got like hat ideas that you want me to add or you want me to add like, I don't know, something something weird. Be creative, feel free. Uh, no, no idea is a bad idea until it is a bad idea. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm on, oh shoot, you know what? I'm on round two already. I want to use a stitch marker today just to help me, you know, keep track of where we're at. So we're gonna use this. I also am gonna have some coffee. You can only hear me on Instagram. There's no picture. That's crazy. Is that true? On Instagram, if you are live on Instagram with me, can you see me? Hi, can you see me? I can see me on the camera. Um, but that's very interesting, Crochet Treasures. Let me know if that is a problem for everybody. Okay, so there's a giveaway going on right now. If you want to win the giveaway, oh yes, other people can see me. I think it might be on you, Crochet Treasures, unfortunately. Because Cozy Critters Crochet on Instagram can see me. Um, okay, so there's a giveaway going on right now. If you want to win a free pin, it's up to you which pin you want. You can get the, um, except for the space pin, unless you want to wait for it. Um, but we have the cute uh, yarn donut pin. We've got, hold on, where did I put all my pins? Here they are. We got our Jimbo pin and uh, the under the sea pin and a bird pin and a rainbow yarn ball pin. These are all going to be given away to someone randomly. All you have to do to win is enter the giveaway by going to uh, the link in the live stream at the bottom of the, in the description of the live stream and guess what is under our ice cream here. There is something I crocheted that I put under this ice cream and throughout this live stream, I'm going to be giving hints to what it is. Um, I do have my hints written out too. So I'll pull those up in just a moment uh, as we get going here. There, you know, there's a lot, I'm doing a lot of things at once. Um, but yeah, the giveaway is going to be for a little pin. I already said that, Louie, come on. And you have to guess what's in it under the ice cream. There we go. Okay, we're, we're crocheting now, we're crocheting. We're on a roll. The Jimbo pin is adorable. I absolutely love the Jimbo pin. Cooper said he made over 100 gummy bears. Is that true, Cooper, of the new gummy bear pattern? That's so cool. Why is that ice cream special? Because it's got some crocheted critter under it. That is why, Cosmo. Uh, I'm not gonna tell you what, but I will hint at what. Um, actually, you know what? Let's go ahead and give our hints of what, let's give one hint of what's going on in there. Um, where did I put my hints? Ah, there we go. Hint number uno, Ichi. It is an animal. There's an animal under there and it is a crochet pattern from our website. So a crochet pattern from our website and it is an animal. Again, if you wanna enter the giveaway, you have to enter it in the Google form that I built or else you won't be entered to win. I'll be choosing one person who gets it correct at the end of the live stream uh, randomly. So I'll choose out of the people that have gotten it correct and choose someone randomly to win the pin. I'll also notify you via email, so you don't don't have to worry about like staying during the whole live stream and stuff like that. Okay, uh, I'm gonna cut this green a little shorter. Keep on crocheting on. Oh, Cooper, thank you so much for your support. I'm so sorry I missed that. Let me look here. 
Cooper, thank you so much, Cooper says. Throughout the past two weeks, you've made an army of gummy bears. Not sure the exact count, but over 110 now. Dude, you're what? <laughs> what? That is crazy. That is a lot. That is a lot of, of gummy bears. Um, thank you so much for your support, Cooper. I mean, geez, what do we put out for Cooper to say thank you? Um, let's put out... I've got all these crocheted, you know what? Cooper, I hope you're okay with this. I'm gonna put some crochet out that we've made in the past that we can see again, uh, that'll be your avatars for today, your your support system. Um, so Cooper, to start here, we're gonna start what with our, uh, our cow pie from last live stream. This is um, uh, Melissa, Melissa the cow pie is gonna be your uh, your avatar today. Thank you so much for your support, Cooper. I really, really appreciate it. If anybody else wants to support live, it's at clubcrochet.com slash tip. If you support or support with a um, super chat, I'll put something out on the live stream as your little avatar today. You can request something. So if you have a request, let me know uh, and I'll toss it out there. Um, yeah. Someone asked, uh, oh, where do we put our guesses? You're gonna put them in the Google form. Uh, there should be a Google form in the description of the live stream. And Cooper has been posting it in the chat pretty often, so it's there as well. Okay, and we're gonna keep on crocheting because I got we got a lot of crocheting to do today. This is a pretty long pattern, so I need to get rock and rolling. The good thing is the start is pretty simple. It just gets a little tricky when we get to the ice cream cone, depending on which cone we want to make. Because there are like multiple different ice cream cones we can make. We can either make the um, the sugar cone, or I'm sorry, the cake cone, which is going to be like that one. It looks, here's another example of it. This one is the cake cone, which we're going to vote on this later, but, or we can do a sugar cone, which is much more simplified, like regular cone. The problem with the sugar cone is it doesn't stand up straight, but the cake cone does. So that's going to be our options for cones for the person that asked. What is Cooper? Mel Mel on Instagram wants to know, Cooper, what are you going to do with your gummy bear army? The chat wants to know, Coop. What are we going to do with our gummy bear army? <laughs> oh my gosh, Stitchcraft's had a baby. Congratulations. You have an eight-month-old baby. Congratulations, Courtney. My, one of my best friends actually just had a baby just the other day, but he hasn't told me what the name of the baby is yet. And I'm like, dude, what's your baby's name? I want to know. It's a little boy. It's very cute. Um, okay. Where were we? We are talking about, oh, that's right. I had something I wanted to tell you guys about. Um, there is a, the play test for Lava Run is going on right now. If you want to test out my brand new board game, Lava Run, it's a board game where you control a dinosaur escaping from a volcano. And every turn, you're going to um, help your dinosaur survive by moving your way down the volcano and controlling the flow of lava as you do so that the, you can keep the lava away from your volcano. But you're also completely competing with a bunch of other dinosaurs to be the last one surviving. So you need to uh, be clever about how you place your lava pieces and where you move your dinosaur. It's a really, really cool game and I'm testing it out right now and I need testers. If you are interested in play testing my new game, um, I'm planning on coming out with it in the summer. So I really need to get all the bugs out of this game before it goes out. Um, if you want to test it out, all you need to do is go to the website that I built for the game. That's at lavarunthegame. I'm sorry, maybe it's just lavarungame.com. Let me. Uh, actually, no, I think it's lavarunthegame. Let me look. Let me look. Lava Run. Oh no, it's just lavarungame.com. Lavarungame.com. That's it. Um, if you go there, you should be able to find my. Uh, like the playtest, you just need to scroll down and you can join the playtest for it. 
uh, by joining the email list basically and it'll send you all the rules. Uh, it is a, um, you can print the game at home and test it from home so it's not too bad. I also built a digital version of the game so that you can play it online uh, with your friends if you want to using a, a game called Tabletop Simulator. It's way, way cool. And uh, it would be really cool if you wanted to try this game out and give me your feedback. I would very, very much appreciate it. Again, that's just at lavarungame.com. Uh, and please consider trying my game out. I would super duper appreciate it. The plan, by the way, is to release this game um, on Kickstarter this summer. So that's why I really need to get all the testing out and make sure it looks pretty. Uh, I did design, like I have almost all the art done for the game uh, and I might just need to change like just a few things here and there to make everything like work perfectly. Um, but I think it's pretty good. I think it's like almost just basically right there. Um, oh, Remy, thank you so much. Remy on Instagram just said that they subscribe to the game on the website. So thank you so much, Remy. Super appreciate it. Summer Camp Fun is free handing the ice cream cone right now. Wow. Dude, that's crazy. You're you're wild, Summer Camp Fun. Not gonna lie. Uh, hey, we need to add a face to our ice cream cone. So uh, we've got a little bit of time to get to there, but I'm gonna need some ideas for what we should be doing with the face for our ice cream cone. So if you got any ideas, what kind of face do you think we should make? Do we want to have a like a goofy looking face? We got a mint chip, so we don't, you know, we don't, I don't think we should do like a sour face or anything like that. Look at this, this right here. This is how I know where I got this yarn. I don't know if you can see it. See that little yarn there? Or see that hair? That is a Jules hair. This was a Jules's yarn. Jimbo, Jimbo is biting the yarn. Stop it, stop it. Oh man, we got cat slobber all over our yarn now. Well, you know, that happens. Okay, let's keep crocheting on though. Um, by the way, if you're crocheting along with me, I'm on round six of the crochet pattern. And again, the crochet pattern is just at clubcrochet.com slash ice cream. And I have that redirect straight to the website. If you have a membership, that should take you literally directly to the pattern as long as you're logged in which is kind of cool. Um, yeah, okay, so we talked about the giveaway. We've talked about the new uh, board game that is being tested now. Please consider supporting it. And let's talk now. Hold on, I had something else I wanted to talk to you about. Yeah, Jimbo just bit some ice. Yeah, he's gonna get a, um, he's gonna get a brain freeze. Da -da 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 -da. You'll need a giveaway. Oh yes, that's right. I had one more thing I wanted to tell you about. There's actually also a brand new tutorial out now um, for how to make a bunch of different faces for your Amigurumi. So you can make like, I have um, five different faces that I've made a video tutorial for. So I made one for a simple smile, which you can see on the little ice cream back here. Um, there's a, like the kissy face that kind of looks like a, the number three. Um, there's a chubby looking face. There's a sly smile, which we used in our uh, punk rock strawberry pattern. So like this smile is one of the faces. And then there's a like cat looking face, which kind of looks like um, at, like this ice cream here. This was my other mint chip one, which you could see. I think you're probably right. This looks a little bit more minty than this one, but yeah. Um, the cat looking face. So I made a video tutorial for all of them. It's available for members right now um, And it probably will be staying available Exclusively for members for a little while um, My plan is I want to get a little bit ahead of schedule and get a few of these video tutorials made before I release it um, So that way I could give it early to my memberships and be a little bit ahead of schedule when I finally release it So I don't feel so like behind um, <clears throat> I wanted to get a little ahead basically so the pattern, uh, the lesson is available now for Club Crochet members, and uh, you can learn more by just going to the website, clubcrochet.com. That's, that is all. By Gameaverse. I don't know what that means. Uh, 
he Heaven Star 57 on Instagram said by Gameiverse. I don't know what that means. It was a question, so I don't know. What is the longest that I've crocheted nonstop? Asks 2% on YouTube. Hold on. Got it. I know where I'm at. You know what? I'm going to use my check marks on my pattern to keep track of where I'm at because I'm getting lost. Um, I'm going to sneeze. So just one second. No, I'm not. God, I hate when I have to sneeze and I can't sneeze. It's the worst. All right. Well, anyhow. Um, as I just deal with like a half sneeze. The longest I've ever crocheted straight, I think I crocheted like eight hours straight once uh, when I was like in high school and college. Uh, I usually don't like to do that. Like just keep crocheting all the way through. I, I like to take breaks between it because when I did that in high school, I remember I was making beanies, like a lot of beanies because I was trying to make a bunch for a, um, for like an event that I was going to do. And the... Each beanie took me about two hours, and I made like 30 beanies in like two or three days. So it took me forever, but I was just crocheting like a man, mad, madman. And then after I finished them, I had carpal tunnel in my right hand, and I had to wear this silly like wrist thing for like a week or so, and I couldn't crochet. And I remember telling myself after that, okay, Lou, never again. We need to take breaks between. You have to. So, yeah, that's, uh, I think that's, uh, that's the answer there. Mickey Cricky! Hey, Mickey Cricky! Mickey Cricky's in the chat. Hi! Um, if you don't know who Mickey Cricky is, uh, I definitely do. Mickey Cricky has been, I think, I think is my longest supporter ever. Uh, Mickey, you are the, you are the GOAT. Um, just always been supporting, and I just really, really appreciate them. So, thank you so much for being here, Mickey. I hope you're doing well. It's been a second. Uh, and thank you for your feedback. I got your feedback on the annual pass and membership. Uh, I'm getting, I'm looking for feedback right now to for like how the memberships work and what kind of seasons to do next year. So I sent out a Google form for anybody with a Club Crochet membership. Uh, it should be in your email if you had a Club Crochet membership. Just look up like help or, or uh, look up like Club Crochet and um, feedback that might take you where you need to go um, but yeah she was among the first to give me support which is why or give me the feedback so that's why I had that in the thought um thank you so much Coop Coop is in on the Instagram too you're wild my dude um yeah Cooper said that uh the the link to the to the board game is at lavarungame.com I need to look up what that other thing was that you were saying, though. Um, Gameiverse. I guess I'll need to look up what Gameiverse is. If anybody knows what Gameiverse is uh, in the chat, let me know. Let me know. Um, also, Valley Cro Crafts Shop on Instagram asked, uh, what is the next season's kit? Next season, we are doing Space Crafts. Literally, that is the name, Space Crafts. You know, like crafts of outer space, but also like spaceships. It's gonna be super duper cool. We've got a bunch of patterns uh, that are already available for the spacecraft's name season. So this is gonna be the first season where um, when you get it, there's already like a bunch to make that is already available. Obviously I'm gonna be doing tutorials throughout the season of new spacecraft themed uh, season uh, or, or patterns. Uh, I want to do so in the in the kit all right off the bat. There's going to be like a rocket ship and uh, a UFO, an alien that goes in the UFO, stars and moons, the planet Earth, um, and uh, an astronaut, and then an alternative rocket ship. So those are already going to be available right off the bat when the kit comes out. But we also have a pretty awesome uh, collaboration pattern with another Amigurumi artist uh, that goes by Curious Papaya on Instagram. You might have seen her. She makes really, really adorable stuff. And she is making the 
cutest spaceman. I'm so excited. It's like this little astronaut. It's really cute. And so I saw it. Um, she sent me the rough draft like yesterday or two days ago, and I just absolutely adored it. And I was like, oh my gosh, I'm going to make a coinciding uh, uh, alien, like a cliche green alien that goes with the um, the astronaut. I think it's going to be really cute. Uh, so yeah, lots coming out soon. The next season isn't going to start till mid-April. I need to give myself a little bit more of a break in between these seasons just to get a little bit more prepared. I'm sure you can kind of um, understand that um, because there's a lot that goes on in the seasons. So it's going to start uh, April 15th is going to be uh, the release date for the next seasonal crochet kit. Um, the kits, by the way, are on their way now. Uh, I've gotten them produced and they should be here really soon. Um, and yes, Valley Craft Shops, we can do a sneak peek of the next kit. Let me go grab it for you. It's actually in the cat cam. So let me switch over to, let me go grab it for you real quick. Oh shoot, I forgot I had another one right next, next to me, so I didn't have to go all that way. Here is a little preview of the next season's spacecrafts. Um, I guess I could give you a quick view on the inside, even though it's just mostly yarn. Um, and this is not available for pre-order yet. It'll be available for pre-order in a week or two. Um, I still have a, some pictures and stuff I need to do for it, but... Oh, there's a bunch of... Obviously, we've got a bunch of different colors of yarn. Um, we've got some specialty stuff in the back here, including some extra special things for this season. There's a quick little sneak peek. One of the special things this season is a string of lights, um, like a fairy string of lights that we're gonna use to make a, um, a lamp. We're gonna be using it to make a rocket ship lamp um, or some other alternative things that we can use it for. So I thought it'd be kind of fun and we could use it for like a couple of other things if we want to. Oh my gosh, a Jimbo astronaut, summer camp fun. I think that is super cute. What a great idea. I love that idea. Yeah, I'm also keeping myself, um, I'm also keeping myself a little bit more open for uh, designs for this season because space themed is gonna be very inspirational. Um, you know, like I'm going to have, a, I'm going to be just very inspired, I'm sure, to make a bunch of random stuff. So what I'm kind of trying to do is keep myself a little bit more open on what designs I want to add to the season so that I can do it kind of like off the cuff a little bit more. Because that's one of my favorite things about these seasons is making just like, just making stuff up as I go. Uh, if you've been following along with this Sweet Stitches themed season, uh, you'll know that like the... We've, we've created during the season a bunch of additional patterns that I was not expecting to release, including a, uh, a chocolate cake, a cookie, um, some other cute little pie additions to go with stuff. Um, there was one more that I released that I was like, whoa, I wasn't, oh, oh, that's right. I actually, I don't wanna tell you about it because it's still coming. Um, but <laughs> anyhow, there are, a lot of really fun, uh, inspirational, like, uh, space inspired ideas that I have floating around in my head. And I don't want to lock myself, uh, down to just one yet. I want to kind of like see what I can do. So I'm keeping it a little bit more loosey goosey there. Um, Miss Popcorn, do I teach an online class? That is a great question. Um, so actually that's a really good question. Uh, I can answer that in a few different ways. Uh, first, um, the best way to like learn from my online courses is with a Club Crochet membership. That gets you access to all of my online courses, which are majority of them are video tutorials for patterns. Like here's how to crochet or ice cream cone, for example. Um, there's a lot of tutorials there, uh, as well as like tutorials about how to make your amigurumi and stuff. Uh, I'm also going to be working on a new series coming soon about um, here's how to design your own amigurumi. That's going to be available for Club Crochet members soon as well. Uh, so that will be a new online class that I'm going to be launching. Uh, but 
the uh, one of the things I've really, really been considering, and this is going to be actually a pretty big announcement. Uh, it, it, it might not happen, by the way. It depends on how much interest there is in doing something like this. Um, so if you are interested in this, please let me know in the chat like now, because I would love your feedback. Um, one of the other ideas that I'm uh, floating around right now is, um, oh, that's a great idea, Remy. I'm sorry, I'm getting distracted here. Remy Crafts just said on chat, uh, in the Instagram chat that I should take pictures of my finished pieces of the Endeavor shuttle in downtown LA, which is perfect. I live in LA. so. Yes, that's a genius idea. I love that. Um, I'll definitely be doing that. Uh, thank you for that idea. Um, shoot, I lost track of what I was going to say. Someone help me. I wanted to tell you something. It was like a brand new... Oh, yes, that's right. A new class. Um, so there's a new thing that I wanted to get your... I want to pick your brains about. Um, I'm thinking about launching a new, uh, like, camp. We're going to call it, um, I want to call it Camp Crochet. It'll be a, um, an event like once a, um, once a month, probably maybe once a season, but probably once a month. Ooh, that was a back. That was a neck crack. Wow. That was crazy. Um, where we'll be designing or we'll be doing a basically a live crochet along but on zoom with a bunch of other people there's going to be limited tickets available um but you will you can also join and talk with me live get feedback um ask questions it'll be basically like a live course um where i'll be teaching you how to crochet something and we'll be making something together and that way i can give extra feedback give extra help if you need it um live i can see your hands and how you've been crocheting something and like you know just help you out live uh it'll be available only for club crochet members and there'll be limited tickets available when we uh when i launch it but that's kind of the idea uh, i had the idea the other week and i was like oh my gosh that would be so fun because then you know i can actually like chat with people and and give help with people that really need that extra like oomph or just want to just hang out like actually hang out live um so I don't know, what do you think about that? I know, uh, obviously I'm not gonna replace these live streams. I'm still gonna be doing live stream crochet alongs like this, um, but the camp crochet would be a much more personal uh, kind of idea. So that's my kind of idea there. Uh, and I'd love to hear what you guys think. It looks like a few people think that's a really good idea. And I like that. Um, and you know, it, I know it's not gonna be for everybody, which is why there will also be like a limited uh, limited release thing you know like you're gonna need a membership to access it which will already limit the people that come and stuff like that so i don't know it's something i've been noodling around with i love that you think that's a fun idea um and yeah that sh i will keep you updated on what and when that happens um i believe we're where we need to be now the problem is this ice cream is so tiny that like well, I'm worried that it's just too tiny for our ice cream cone. We might need to do a double scoop. Well, whatever. Whatever. We'll just have a tiny ice cream. That's okay. Um, okay, we're going to pull our stitch marker up here. We're on round uh, 11. Actually, you know, before I even continue round 11, we need... I need feedback. I, or I need an idea for the face. So... Let's spitball this for just a second. We want to make a face, right? Let's start with what mouth to make for our face. So I'm going to say we've got, let's go with four options for our mouths. Um, and then we'll vote on that. So option one, we'll do our kissy mouth, kind of cute little kissy mouth option. Uh, these are just other ice cream tops that I've made that we could add to this actually, uh, if we wanted to later. But just for an example, we got a kissy mouth. Um, we can do a the the sideways kissy mouth, like cat kind of face. So there's two options. We could do. Oh, and here's the other two: a fat face and a basic smile. 
So those are our options here. Let me take this guy out because, oh my gosh, look how cute they are when they come out. They're so adorable. I love how I did the arm. I did the arms and legs different this time. Instead of using bobble stitches, I did little like, um, like little flat uh, hands and legs so that they, they sit inside cuter and they just look so adorable it, it's a it was it's like a little bit more work because you have to sew them on but i really liked it um okay so these are our face options i'm gonna put this in the vote right now on youtube so we're gonna place these right here and they're gonna sit up say okay we're gonna lay them down let's go ahead and throw this in the vote um yes i like the idea of adding a tongue to this uh it depends on which face we we vote on but i will um I'm, I'm totally open to adding a tongue. So, which mouth to make? We've got a simple smile, chubby face, um, we've got a uh, kissy face, or a um, cat face. Boom. It is out. Oop, watch out, Jimbo. I don't want to step on you, bud. Okay, so a vote is on now. Uh, go ahead and vote on that, and we will add that face when we get there. The vote, again, is between a simple smile, which is going to be this bottom right one here, a chubby face, which looks like this one, a kissy mouth, and a uh, kind of like a kitty cat smile. Um, so those are our options. You can vote now on the live stream on YouTube. Yes, Jimbo. They're voting right now for that. And as they do, we're gonna continue and make the frill for our ice cream, which is going to be round 12, if you are crocheting along with me. Chain two. You know what, I'm gonna try something different this time that I haven't been doing. And it's not in the tutorial, so it's probably a bad idea that I'm doing it this way, but I just wanna try something to clean up the end a little bit better oh i can vote that's right i get to vote also on what the face is gonna be yes i do jimbo okay okay wow i voted with everybody else looks like looks like we're all choosing the same thing that's gonna be interesting maybe that'll change but we'll see um jenny love that idea i don't know necessarily i love the cherry idea uh jenny thinks that we should add a cherry but she, she also thinks we should add whipped cream I can't think of any times when I've eaten ice cream out of a cone with whipped cream on it. But maybe, maybe, we definitely could throw that into a vote. Um, that's an interesting idea. Oh my gosh, Michelle, or no, sorry, Chirp a Little. I love that idea. Chirp a Little says that we should make a tongue out and licking itself. Oh my gosh, that's such a fun idea. Like this? Oh my gosh, actually that's a really good idea. You know what? I know we're voting. If the chubby face wins, that's what we'll do with it. Cause that's a really cute, that's a really cute idea. Add a flake? What's a flake, Zoe? By the way, hi Zoe. Welcome to the, to the chat. A Cadbury flake. What is a Cadbury flake? I ain't never heard of nothing like that before. Cadbury Flake. Images? What the heck? I've never seen this thing in my life. Ice cream? What the heck is a fool? Oh, it's like a weird. It's a chocolate in Australia. Okay. Oh, and Europe. Oh, interesting. Okay, that's fun. Yeah, sure. How strange. What a strange little thing. Uh, yeah, I'm totally into that. Uh, and I don't know why the heck we don't have that here in the States. That sounds so delicious. Ooh, Melt Tuscan said we can make them sad and drippy. That's fun. That's a that's a funny idea also. I like that. 
Sprinkles, I definitely think sprinkles would be a fun uh, vote. We could definitely choose sprinkles. Okay, see, we're getting somewhere now. We're getting somewhere. We got, we've got a few different options here. There we go. But before we even get to that, we do definitely need to finish up the top of our ice cream. And uh, we can vote on those other additions in a second afterwards. I do really like the idea of it trying to lick itself. I can just imagine like one eye's closed, like they're kind of squinting and they're like, they're like tongues really far out and we do like a drip that's going down into the tongue. That would be cute. I really like that idea. I like it. I like it a lot. How's your guys' week been, by the way? How's everybody been doing? It's finally feeling like spring here in California. I mean, I guess it kind of always feels like spring in California, which is why it's so nice to live here. But it definitely feels like spring this week. It's been getting nice and warm. The daylight savings time or whatever, the spring forward. Uh, uh, I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it big time, and I love it. It feels so good out. It's nice to be able to go on walks again. That's been great. Tig, uh, thank you for saying that, but I will say we've still got a long, long way to go here, Tig. Um, we are, this, this ice cream cone is deceiving, uh, a deceivingly long pattern because there's a lot of different parts to add to it under the ice cream itself. You know, we got to make the body. We've got to make the arms and legs. We've got to make the, ice cream cone we've got to make a lid for the ice cream cone there's a shocking amount of other things that we need to add to this so i'm glad you think we're ahead of schedule but we're actually not we're actually kind of behind schedule right now but we are going to be finishing this live so whether that's in two hours or three hours or four hours or ten hours we're finishing it today and then afterwards, I'm taking a nice break as I choose the winner for, or choose the top four for our pie challenge. By the way, that's going to be announced tonight. If you would like to vote on that, I will be sending an email out early next week. Um, and I'll be posting about it on Instagram and stuff. Uh, if you haven't heard of it, there's a pie challenge going on right now. And you actually can enter to win the pie challenge uh, uh, still, if you really want to, um, you have like a lot, I know I said it was, uh, the submissions were over last night, but I'm going to be choosing the winner after the live stream. Um, not the winner, but the top four after the live stream. So if you want to enter to win it, you still can, if you want to do it during the live stream, um, all you have to do to enter to win or to learn more about everything is go to clubcrochet.com slash pie. That's it. Uh, and then you crochet a pie and post a picture of it. Um, I'm going to be changing the rules next uh, time we do this, by the way, to uh, help from the uh, Instagram has a, they changed the way they do hashtags on Instagram. So it's really hard to see entries now, which is super duper frustrating, as you can probably imagine. So um, I had to do a lot of sleuthing to find all the submissions this year, but, or uh, this season, but you know, it's not that big of a deal. We're, we're going to fix that later um, and do something new next time for submissions. But if you want to enter to win, by the way, again, it's just clubcrochet.com slash challenge. Um, okay. The pie challenge is, yeah, technically not closed, Linda. I mean, it's closed, but you can still get an entry in as long as you do it during my uh, live stream here. Um, okay, so we we were voting on the face. Let's go ahead and end that vote there. If we got, I'm hoping for a chubby face. Ooh, you, wow. Yeah, pretty handedly voted for chubby face. Great. So we're gonna do a chubby face that's licking their own ice cream off. That is cute. That is fun. Uh, let's start with, um, actually, instead of using our black thread, I'm gonna be using our black yarn and kind of like splitting it so I can control the, the thickness of our thread a little bit better. So we'll go ahead and throw this to the side and we'll use this black yarn instead for our embroidery yarn. 
Um, we're just going to cut a piece off and we're going to split it into different pieces. That'll just give us a little bit more control over how um, we make our mouth here. So let's go with, I'm going to start with a double. So as you can see at the top of our yarn here, it splits into different threads. Um, each one of these individual threads on our club crochet cotton yarn has themselves like a bunch of little threads, which makes the yarn like really, really strong. Um, but we only need one or two of these. So I'm going to start by splitting it into two. Let's see how that goes. Yeah, I think that looks good. Yeah, I think that looks good. That's a good, I think that's a good thickness for our, for our thread. Um, I do like it when it kind of like twists together like this too. So sometimes I like kind of try to encourage it, encourage the twist. And we'll thread this on a needle. Jimbo is a screaming in the other room. Um, okay, he just, he just wants attention. Um, all right, I'm, I'm gonna do, instead of doing like a pure chubby face, I'm gonna do that like sideways smile kind of thing because I think it'll be a little bit better when we add our tongue. So let's go ahead and just get that started. Like this. Okay, so we want it to be like, kind of like this. I think, and I'm going to go a little wide with the mouth because we're going to be adding that tongue over here. That's like really going to be wide. We'll do a closed. If I do that. Yeah. We're going to do a closed eye over on this side and then open eye over here. And I'm going to try to give this just a slight curve to it so that it kind of looks more like a smile. This, we're gonna go up to, let's go to like right. Actually, let's just go to this one. And then I'll come out like, I'll come out right here to try to sew down this mouth to be more of a smile. Let's see how that goes. Into the same stitch. And there we go. Hey, that was, oh, that was pretty good. That was not bad. And then the eye is gonna just go like, honestly, like right over here. But let's actually, let's add our tongue first. I'm not even gonna double knot this together yet because I wanna put everything on before we do that. So we need our pink yarn. I'm just gonna grab my pink yarn from our seasonal kit because, you know, why not? And I'm gonna, I'm just gonna sew on a, uh, I mean, sorry, crochet us a tongue. Um, I was gonna, I was thinking about doing like an embroidery thing, but I think if we crochet it, it'll be a little bit more like three dimensional, which would be pretty cute. So for our tongue, by the way, if you wanted to do this, um, I'm just chaining four. I'm gonna skip the first two chains and then half double crochet into the last two chains to create a tongue. And then I'll chain one, cut the yarn and pull it through uh, and use these two tail ends to sew it onto our mouth. Uh, this might be a little bit big for our tongue, actually upon further thought, but here, let's just see how this looks first before we go ahead and make another one. If, if we need to make another one, you know, it's not like it took a long time, but it'll be like this and we would put it right here. Is that going to be too big for our tongue or not? That's a pretty gigantic tongue. Let's try to do a little smaller one then. Let's try this again. This time I'm going to chain three and half double crochet. Actually, I don't even know if I'm gonna do a half double. Let's just try single crochets. So let's do one, two, three chains, and let's do, actually, I'm gonna skip two chains and do a single crochet into the third. Let's see how that looks. And then chain one. So it's just one single crochet in there. Pull that through. Let's see how this looks. This is significantly smaller. Kind of squish it even in a little bit. And we would put it like right here. Yeah, that looks good. And then he's got, we'll have like a closed eye right here under the tongue. We'll have like a little drip coming down over and then into the tongue. And then we'll do a regular eye here. And we'll do, maybe we'll even do like a little squinty kind of thing on the other side of the eye. 
Um, yeah. Is there a mint ice cream pattern in the works? You're looking at it. It's already out. Um, I, it is out now on the website, Linda. Uh, we're just using the basic ice cream pattern at clubcrochet.com slash ice cream. Okay, I'm just gonna double knot this mouth there, and we'll cut this yarn kind of short. Oops, there we go. That that mouth looks really good. I'm I'm actually like, that's like a first try there. So you know, if you've been crocheting for a while, you'll know first tries are kind of rare. So I'm pretty proud of that. We're just gonna go right into there. I kind of want the tongue to be more of like a curve out, you know, than a curve in. So we're going to try like that. Even though it's technically like backwards going to be sewn on, but that's all right. Um, yeah, uh, Jen says they got to learn how to make eyes like that. Never mind, it's the mouth. It is the mouth, but look, that could easily be eyes. Like, you know, if it was upside down, easy eyes with like a little eyelash. Yeah. Definitely could use that this same method for eyes. So I'm going to go straight up in the corner of the mouth here and see how this, this looks. I'm going to pull it just enough so that it pops into my stitches. And then we're going to do the same with this other side. Let's see how this looks. I might need to just, you know, do this a few times, but I think it's going to be a really cute idea. Whoever, again, had this idea, thank you so much. Great idea. Great suggestions from the chat. Okay, let's see. Oh, yeah, that... Oh, that's perfect! That's exactly how I want it. Especially once we have, like, a drip coming down into it. That's gonna look so good. And then our eye... We're gonna have our eye just go kind of, like, right behind it. Like, the drip's going to go into their eye if they don't catch it. That's pretty good. I'm happy with that. Oh, you meant mini, uh, a mini ice cream cone. Ooh, maybe. I haven't thought about that, Linda. That could be pretty fun. Michelle says that the music is too loud. Uh, heard, chef. I will turn it down a little bit. Where is Jimbo? They want to know where you're at, Jimbo. Yeah, that's right. You're right here. Say hi. Good job. Oh, say hi. Hi. Hi, hi, hi. Oh, you just went to the bathroom. You stink. He smells like litter. But that's okay. I still love you. I still love you. Yeah, I do. Okay, now we're gonna do an eye over here under this tongue, like just barely under the tongue so that it looks like he's squinting into, like he's protecting his uh, his eye with his tongue. Hi, Jimbo. Um, okay. Oh, yes, chirp a little. Thank you for the idea, chirp a little. I forgot. Uh, okay, so, actually, you know what? Let's add the other eye on the other side also. Um, I'm just going to use one six millimeter eye for this, which I do have somewhere. Here, we can use one of these. Oh, there they are. How's our computer battery doing? Good, we're good, we're good, we're good, guys. No worries about the computer battery yet. So I'm just gonna try this one eye on this side first. And the reason I'm adding the eye right now is because I want us to know where I need to sew on the other side's eye. Because I think we can start it like, actually, maybe even in this stitch. Let's try to put it in between this stitch, because then it's like somewhere in between low and high. Jibbo is currently upside down playing with, what is that? Is that yarn? You betcha. And now he's playing with a candy corn. You are so cute, buddy. I think that's a pretty good position for first eye. And then the other eye, we can kind of line up with this. So it'll be right under here. 
like actually like right here so actually you know what maybe we start over here and do kind of one like under the eye like this and let's see how this looks I mean that almost works right there and then let's try to do another another little corner of this so that it looks more squinting let's see how that looks you know we'll go into this same stitch like that because I think this might make it look a little bit more like an eye yeah, yeah like that what do we think does that look good His tongue is like really over though now pull that in more the inside Uh, maybe we need that part over a little further though Right, so it looks like because it's kind of like There's like not enough showing on this side So let's let's go ahead and kind of alter that one a little bit pull this out pull That out Let's try this again Hey moon rose, how you doing? Thanks for joining Oh, hey, again, guys, if you haven't yet, like this video down below. We're looking for 200 likes today um, or before the next live stream, and that will unlock another giveaway because we do have a giveaway going on right now if you want. Um, all you need to do to enter the giveaway is uh, enter the form that is at the bottom of our chat on our live stream uh, and guess what is under this ice cream cone. We have been giving out hints. Uh, actually, we've only really given out one hint, which is that it is an animal. Uh, but I think it's time for a second hint. What do you guys think? Let's do another hint. Uh, for our second hint, let's see, what did I write down? I have, I have hints here. Ah, yes, this is a good hint. Good hint, this is a really good hint, actually. Um, the pattern that is under here, uh, the animal that it is based on, at least, has scales. It has scales. At least I'm pretty sure it has scales. There we go. That looks pretty good. I think it'll I think it'll really come together when we have a drip coming down, too. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna double knot there. Do I use cotton yarn for these? I do. Um, this is all our Amigurumi cotton yarn. Uh, it's our brand spanking new yarn. Uh, here is the brand right there. Club Crochet Amigurumi cotton yarn. These are available only in our um, kit kits though right now. I do wanna start of having them available for sale online, but I just haven't uh, had a chance yet to do that, so. Uh, an eight millimeter eye might look better, says uh, Raish. Let's try it out, Rachel. Sorry, I don't mean to say your full name. I don't know if that is even your full name, Raish. Uh, look at how weird this safety eye is. It's got like all these like weird little bits on it. Let's not use that one. Let's try this one here. Okay, we'll try. We'll try an eight millimeter. Let's see how it goes. So we'll pop this one out. Um, and you know what, maybe we'll do cheeks in brown too, be since we're gonna do, we're definitely gonna have to use brown yarn later anyhow. Well, what do we think? Do we like that? Yeah, that is actually maybe a little bit cuter. That is pretty cute. Yeah, I'm happy with it. Good suggestion is good. Let's lock it, let's lock it. That's exactly why I like using it too. It's so much easier to see your stitches if you use cotton yarn um, create. Uh, I should crochet a huge gummy bear. You know, I actually did buy some big yarn for that specific thing, Tig. Uh, am I gonna have a booth at SoCal Fiber Fair this year? I will, Alexis. 
I will. Um, that's not till I think November or something, but there is definitely going to be a club crochet there. I already paid for the booth and everything, so I better have a booth there. Okay, cool. Um, let's see. Do we want to add cheeks now? Because I would add the cheeks like down here. You know, we can do that when we add our chocolate chips. Let's like save that for later. Um, so that we can add it when we add our chocolate chips. And let's just keep crocheting. Um, we need to work now. We need to add our arms and legs. We need to make them, rather. So let's go ahead, grab our green yarn here, and make our arms and legs first. Oh, we could do blush. Yeah, we could do blush. I actually don't think I have any blush that I could use for it, though. Um, okay, what am I doing? <laughs> okay, what? No, we added the face. Okay, we're on the arms and legs. Okay, we have to make four of these. Um, the good thing is they're super quick and super easy to make. So one, two, three, and four chains. And then two, half double crochet two. So it's actually the first way that we made the tongue is how we're gonna make one of these arms. So that's kind of cool. Must have been where I got the idea. There's one. Let's get this out of the way. And here's two. The Animal Crossing music is so soothing. I totally agree with you. I love putting the Animal Crossing music on. It just feels so like chill. It's exactly the vibe that I want during these live streams, which is just chill. I just want to hang out with you. That's it. That's all. I just want to hang out and crochet, make something interesting. Sometimes it makes me a little bit sleepy, but you know, I, I feel like my favorite time to crochet is when I'm somewhere between awake and asleep. If I'm too awake, I have a hard time focusing while I crochet. If I'm too sleepy, you know, I can't, I can't crochet when I'm too sleepy. But somewhere right in between the two, that's the sweet spot. Oh, great. Thank you so much. I, I will check out your channel after this. Hello from Florida. Hey, little treasures. How are you doing, Nancy? Hope you're having a great day. Hey, Tyke, actually, you know what If you know what you could do for me that would really help out with this uh, giant gummy bear idea? Tyke, could you comment on the video tutorial for the gummy bear and comment, you should make a giant gummy bear? And then I can use that comment because I'll do a short for it. You know, like I'll, I'll crochet it in the light box and then I'll put your comment there to be like, like, you know, this person gave me the idea. That'd be pretty cool. Turf a little said that they are not crocheting, but grading assignments uh, for, for her class, I'm guessing. So the live stream is keeping you from falling asleep. That's great. What assignments are we grading today? Oh, I'm sorry. You know what? You you do your work. Don't, don't worry about it. Don't worry about us. We're just here to keep you entertained. Chirp a little. <laughs> I'm going to guess it's English, though. I don't know why. I'm just going to guess English. No, wait, that's too hard to test, to grade while you're watching a live stream. Maybe it's, maybe it's math. Maybe it's uh, geometry? No, I don't think Chirp a Little is a geometry teacher. <gasps> Whoa. I just found the tiniest, weirdest little bug. Oh, I don't like it. Well, it's not alive anymore. That was a weird bug. I've never seen that bug before. Weird. And it fell. And I don't know where it is now. So that's sketchy. Okay, so we got our arms and legs. We got our head. Now let's start working on the body for our ice cream. So our first stitch is gonna be right there. So we actually wanna pull through right here. 
that correct? Yeah, that's our last one. Okay, cool. Let's grab our green yarn and keep on crocheting on. Yarn lice. Ooh, is that a thing, Raish? Oh my gosh, is yarn lice a thing? I hate that. I hate that. I don't think it was a, it wasn't a lice though. It, it looked like it had little tiny wings. So I think it flew in here. There's one, two. Keep on crocheting on. Ooh, bunny ears. That's a fun idea to create. Actually, that's a really cute idea. I mean, it is almost Easter, right? Graphic design assignments. Ooh, that is super cool, Chirp a Little. I love that. I always wish I took a graphic design class in school. Um, I just kind of made graphic design. Like I never really took a class for it. I just kind of did it. Um, I actually had a meeting uh, this week with a um, with someone that's going to help me with our book. Uh, they're going to help us like put together the book. And I showed them my designs and my live or my my Instagram or not my Instagram my uh, PDFs for the patterns and stuff. And they were like, "Whoa." who taught you? Like, where'd you learn how to do this? And I was like, I just taught myself. <laughs> and they were like, what? <laughs> I was like, yeah. There we go. Okay, so we've got, where was it? One, two, three, four, five. And I was just like, yeah, that's kind of the way things go now, you know? Like, people just teach themselves, like, the internet, you can do anything. <laughs> you can do anything on the internet. Um, okay, so I want seven and then an, an oh and then a decrease okay so one two three four five six seven and then a decrease okay we're doing a single crochet two together for the decrease and we'll just keep doing that all the way around all the way around two Seven, and then our decrease. One, two, boom. Cool. <laughs> Chirp a little said, some people have a natural knack for design. Unfortunately, not everyone does. <laughs> yeah, I bet you get that experience pretty often as a teacher. That's funny. You should make a little cowboy hat and in name it Indiana Cones. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. Actually, oh my gosh. You crochet, who who said that? Da, 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 da. Reputa Reputation TV. Okay, wait, one, two, three, four, five, six. Let me show you something that I made literally like yesterday um, or two days ago on, I recorded the video tutorial for it. I've been working on like a secret project um, that won't be released probably till like next year. Um, but here's a little hint for it. I was working on cowboy hats. Hold on, I, I don't know where I put it. Oh, here it is. It's right, literally right by my hand. Look at this. He's rooting tooting now. That's a, that's a rooting tooting ice cream cone. It's a big, that's a big hat, but it is kind of funny, right? That I had a cowboy hat, like ready to rock and roll. It's funny. Look, it's got little straps here too, so I can put it on my cat's head. He does not like it. <laughs> Maybe you can't imagine. Um, but yeah, that's just a little, that's just a little sneak peek of a future project that I'm working on, by the way. Don't worry too much about it right now. Okay, so that was round 13. Now I'm on round 14. This, this round's a little bit more tricky. And it's gonna get, the, the thing with this pattern is it's gonna get a little bit more tricky the further we go down too. Because, especially when we get to the ice cream cone. Now it's gonna depend what kind of ice cream cone you guys want me to make, but. There is a tricky one and an easy one. I decided to make a lot of like easy, um, 
alternative parts of this pattern so that if you wanted to crochet it, um, you could either make like the easy version or the hard version. The hard version is um, by like adding this little body and making a cake cone instead of a sugar cone. They're a little bit more difficult to do. So I kind of wanted to add those additions in so that people had the options to make it the way they want to make it. And then also to kind of give people the encouragement to kind of maybe try, try something a little bit more difficult if you want to and uh, a pretty easy, um, an easy gateway to going from beginner to advanced crochet. So that's kind of like the idea there. Okay, this ice cream is very tiny though because this yarn is smaller than my amigurumi cotton yarn. Ooh, what earthquake? Any more earthquakes lately? Um, that was a day, oh uh, no, I haven't. Uh, thank goodness, uh, that was quite a day when we had that earthquake. Uh, Raish, is a single crochet two together the same as a decrease? It is. Um, there are actually three, I like three different ways to decrease. Um, the first way, my favorite way to decrease is with an invisible decrease, which I literally just made one. Uh, invisible decrease is when you go to the front loops of two stitches and then do a single crochet. The single crochet two together is my second favorite way to do a decrease. That's gonna be the way most people understand how to do decreases. That's where you pull a loop through one stitch then a loop through the next stitch, and then pull another loop through all three loops. Like, kind of like you made a half double crochet, but by pulling loops through instead of yarning over. Um, that's probably my second favorite way to decrease. Uh, and then my last way to decrease is with a, a single, or it, with, I just call it a decrease. It's uh, another way to call it is like a sharp decrease or a slip stitch two together. Um, for that, what you need to do is pull through two loops. Like, so we pulled through our first loop, and pull through our second loop like we were doing a single crochet two together. But instead of yarning over and pulling through all the loops, we're gonna pull that second loop through the two on the hook, and that's gonna create a really, really sharp decrease that flattens the whole piece down. I use that one for pieces that I want to sit up straight and have a really flat bottom so that it, sit, it, you know, it has a flat bottom so that it sits upright. Um, so those are my three ways that I like to decrease uh, in my crochet. And single crochet two together is one of them. Yeah. Um, any more earthquake? Buh, 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 buh. Uh, Zoe said they were listening to a podcast and there was an earthquake during the podcast, just like there was during the live stream. Wow, that's cool. What was the podcast? Five. That's really cool, though. And an increase here. Cool. Is there a difference between the magic loop and the magic ring um, for overall look? Uh, the answer is no, there's not a difference. Uh, uh, there's a difference in how you make them, of course. Um, in fact, that being said, people use those terms um, kind of like uh, together. Um, the difference between the magic loop and a magic ring are basically the exact same thing. It just I call them two different things because of the way the method I use to make them. So for a magic uh, loop, which you've seen me do before, is when you just do this little thing where you make the X and the two lines. You've probably seen it if you made any of my patterns. That's how I usually like to do it. The magic ring you hold in your hand like this and you go around your index finger like that three times and then you pull through like this. It's a little bit more sturdy of a magic loop method, um, but it's a lot more complicated to make. Uh, but the end result of what you of what the magic loop looks like, it is literally like you won't you can't tell the difference. They look exactly the same, um, so you don't have to worry too much about that. But good question. Uh, let me know if you if anybody has any questions like that, um, any crochet questions that they need help with. Uh, feel free to ask. It's a perfect opportunity for you to ask. One, two, three, four, and five, and then our increase here. One. And two. Perfect opportunity to ask. Um, okay, so we wanna add something to our ice cream cone as well. And we'll probably do that after we make our, our cone, I would assume. But uh, we have got some ideas. So let's go ahead and, and throw these ideas uh, into the wind for voting. Um, first, let's discuss them. So we've got, the first idea is a flake which I've never heard of before, but it's basically like a little chocolate kind of like 
Almost looks like a churro, it looked like. Yes, I know you are, cat. Jimbo's Jimbo wants to say hi and play with the yarn, so we're gonna hold him for a second. Um, so we can do a flake, we can do sprinkles. Um, we did, we're gonna do chocolate chips, like that's just happening, so we don't need to vote on that. Um, we could do, whether, what other additions could we do, Jimbo? I love and hate how comfortable Jimbo is with me holding him like this. I could just, he, he could fall asleep like this. It's so cute. I'm gonna put you in the cat cat. There we go. Now he's in cat cam. Right? Yes. What a cute boy. No, don't go anywhere. I love you there. You're the worst. <laughs> no. Cat. Cat. Kitty. Do I have Cadbury there? Not so... I'm quite surprised you've never had one. Uh, uh, we have Cadbury eggs, I think, but I've never had one. Um, actually, you know what? I have had them on like Easter and stuff, probably. Um, okay, wait, what were those options again? Let's write these down, actually. So we've got, here, let's put this here. Um, we are making chocolate chips, so I'm not gonna put that on here. But the other options we have are a flake, um, a sp sprinkles. What are the things? Oh, a cherry. We could do a cherry, of course. What other things could you add to an ice cream that we could put on our list for our vote? Let me know in the chat. I'm just gonna place this to the side for right now, and uh, we'll we'll choose those in a little bit. If you can think of any other ones. Cadbury cream eggs are gross. I, I kind of agree. I, I don't really like them. I, I think they're kind of nasty. Uh, my uncle loves them, though. Which, I feel like if you love them, that's, I don't know. That's weird. <laughs> no no uh, shade for anybody that really likes them. I just don't get it. A wafer is a good move. Ooh, what's a pyroline stick? I'm learning a lot of I'm learning a lot of things today. Pyroline stick. Let's type that in. Let's see what that means. Oh no, I messed up with that. Okay, wait, hold on. Oh my gosh, what did I do? Hold on. I lost our chat. There it is. Okay, what is this called? A pyroline stick? Oh my gosh, where was it? Oh, someone says a strawberry chocolate syrup. That could be fun, like a chocolate sauce. Blueberries. It's interesting. Corinthians sticks. What are all these things? Okay, wait. Corinthians stick. Ice cream. Okay, let's start with that one. Oh, it's like a, it's like a, yeah, like a wafer kind of stick thing. Yeah, totally. Okay. Pyroline stick. What was the other one? A wafer. Let me write the wafer down because that's a, I like that idea. You like my hat. I'm not wearing a hat. <laughs> but thanks. <laughs> um... A wafer. What was the other one? I'd be totally down to do a wafer. I actually know exactly how I'd do it too. Peanuts. Um, someone said a strawberry. A pyroline stick. Okay, so what are those called? Uh, like a... I'll, I'll just write a pyroline stick because I don't know. Pyroline stick. I might be even saying that wrong. Um, oh, and chocolate sauce, right. 
The problem with chocolate sauce is how I would do it, how I'd have to do it, is I'd have to crochet something and, and sew it on, which isn't really the worst thing in the world. I totally can do that. In fact, it might work really well with the tongue, like having like little ooze coming down so that that's what he's licking. But it will be a process, you know, that's that's something else to crochet. It's not like we can just embroider that on. But those are good options. So let's go ahead and we'll put those to the side for a second. And I'm gonna vote on those in just a moment. Uh, once we finish our body for our ice cream, we will vote on what to add to the top of our ice cream. But first, we must finish the ice cream. Uh, and we also have to vote on what kind of cone to make. Actually, we can vote on that first um, because we're gonna make that after this anyhow. So let's go ahead, we'll throw that one in the vote now. Um, so, start a poll. What kind of cone should we make? Sugar cone? Cone. All right, so there's your options. Uh, the sugar cone or the cake cone. Again, a sugar cone is gonna be like this. It's gonna be like the pointy kind of classic cones. The cake cone is gonna be like this. It's gonna be like kind of like that flat cone. The cake cone is a little bit like um, more complicated, but it does sit up straight and it's kind of fun to make. So you go ahead and vote now in the chat on um, YouTube. Okay, and we're gonna go ahead and put these to the side and uh, we'll make one of those two once you guys choose which one we wanna make. In the meantime, we got some more crocheting to do. We got some more crocheting to do's. We got some more crocheting to do's. Blink, bloop, bloop, bloop. Have I ever tried a yarn under instead of yarn over, said Ask Tig. Um, yes, I have. I personally like um, uh, yarn over. Wait, yarn over. Yeah, yarn over rather than yarn under. Um, a lot more because uh, it's first off because I'm used to it. I'm like way used more used to doing crocheting like this. Um, but the other reason is because it I don't like how tiny and how difficult it is to crochet with a yarn under. It like it makes everything so so tiny and so like dense. And I already make such tiny things that I don't know. I just think I like it easier the way I do it. But. I will be um, testing those two methods out soon for a video tutorial um, because I do want to do kind of like some tutorials about which one, why I like one more than the other. Uh, but I need to test it and play around with a yarn under a lot more often to, uh, you know, get more comfortable with it and uh, have some legitimate opinions on it. Um, so yeah, that's that's what I got for you. All right, so now I'm decreasing down. I probably should pull back up the pattern. Yes, okay, so five and then a decrease. Three. Okay. Three, four, five. And some more yarn. Two. And five. Wait, I'm off count. Uh oh, where'd I mess up? No. Wait, one, two, three, four, five, decrease. One, two, three, four, five, decrease. Uh oh, one, two, three, four, five. Oh no, I'm on. <laughs> Whew. I'm doing fine. <laughs> Decrease. There we go. 
We're doing fine. Everything's fine. I don't know what you're talking about. Um, okay, next we need to um, decrease again, and then we can sew on the arms and legs. Uh, we do want to stuff it just a little bit right now, though, um, because it's a little easier just to stuff now than it would be to stuff later. On Pi Day, you posted, which was adorable, how many digits of Pi do I know? Uh, three point one four one five four. I don't. I think five or six. <laughs> Not very many. Not very many. Toe flavored ramen. I am not sure. Oh, um, we should probably do a shamrock, Michelle. That's actually not a bad idea. The cake cone looks like a flashlight. It does kind of look like a flashlight, actually. That'd be a fun pattern. A little flashlight? Oh my gosh! Michelle, you're a genius! We should make a flashlight! That's a really, really, really good idea because it works with next season's kit. Michelle? You're a genius. Did you miss the third clue? You have not missed the third clue yet, Emerald Turtle. Do not worry. Um, I will be doing that third clue in just a moment. Um, Let's sew on our arms and legs, though. We'll get to that clue in a bit, though. I promise. Um, I've got, I think I've got like five or six clues today. So I, I'm kind of like taking my time because we still got a, a pretty decent amount to crochet. So we got one arm here. Let's see. Wait. I'm going to go in there and up there so that he's kind of hugging his belly a little bit. That's our goal. Like, we'll just do the arms first, and then we'll sew on the legs later. Like, after the next round. I think. And we'll do the arms kind of close together. So one's like this, and maybe one's like that. Actually, what if we do the arms together, and they're holding a four-leaf clover? That's cute, right? Oh, can I have them holding a four-leaf clover? Let's see, I actually have a four-leaf clover right here. Because I just did a video for one. I can do a four-leaf clover, but I don't know if I can do it and it fit in the cone right, you know? You'd have to be holding it and it'd be sticking out of the cone. Which actually could work, you know, if we had it like this. And then it was in the cone. That could work. Okay, but let's start by just sewing these on. Try this. For starters. Yeah, that's good. And then the other one will go right here under the other eye. So they won't be as close as it kind of looks like they will be right now, but I think that's good. That's probably good for the best. Good for the best. I'm gonna sew this arm down just slightly too. So that it's not too like flappy. Tina said they shared a pie on Discord, but they're not sure if they shared it in the right place. Where'd you share it? Um you should have shared it in the uh in the um uh uh challenge crochet challenge uh, channel. Okay, let's put this in. That. That's pretty good. I think I need to like pull in this other tail end though, a little bit more. Yeah, this end right there. There we 
go. Double knot those two ends. Uh, what are we making? We're making ice cream cones. We are making ice cream cuties is what I'm calling them. There's these guys right here, but they have little bodies under them. So we're currently working on the body for our ice cream cone. Pretty cute. And then we're gonna do another one over here so that he kind of looks like he's hugging his body in a little bit. Got my hair everywhere. All right, so the next arm, feel right here to here, I think. That actually might be a little too far out. Far out? Yeah, I think this is probably a better spot. Up to there. So we'll start like this. And we'll go up to maybe like to right here. Let's see how this looks. One. And two. Like that. Yeah, that's a much better spot. Oh, that's so cute. Look at the little arms. That's <laughs> so cute. Okay. Next, uh, we want to sew this arm down. You know what? I'm going to double knot here and then double knot again. Because I think that was the problem with the last one. It'll make our life a little easier, I think. Actually, maybe we'll just do one knot now. Two knot now. We'll just do two now. There we go. And we'll just thread this part on and embroider it onto the arm or onto the body. So I think I did it embroider right here. Yeah, that's pretty good. We just need to make sure that we embroider it similar to how we did the first one. Uh-oh, went around our loop here. That's not gonna be good. We should crochet a leprechaun for St. Patty's Day. Ooh, that's fun. Uh, I think we're gonna be, St. Patty's Day is like this week though, or this weekend. So I don't think that's gonna, I don't think we have time for that. Because our next stream won't be till next Friday. By the way, we'll be doing another live stream next Friday. Uh, I think what we're doing next Friday is, um, I think it's a new pattern actually. I'm not, I actually don't really remember what the next one is gonna be. I have it on the on a calendar somewhere though. There we go. Back in. I'm just gonna go back into where I came out. Like that. The idea here is we just need to hold the arms down so that when they put it into the cone, it does it like lays flat. That's our whole goal here. The tiniest, cutest little hands though. Yeah, see, Zoe, I do the exact opposite. I try to do a yarn under. Um, like I try, I, I try to like test myself by doing like a yarn under pattern, but it, I have a, such a hard time not doing yarn over because that's the way I crochet. So, yeah, I, I totally feel that. Totally feel it. Um, okay, now we're gonna crochet one more round here and then do our legs to sew on there too. And what's our vote? How's our vote doing, by the way? Oh, it is like a 50-50 vote. It's like a 50-50 vote. We could also try doing like a cup, I guess. Like a little white cup. That could be kind of funny. One and invisible decrease. All right, great. I guess I should have done that as an option. Oops. See you later, Summer Camp fam. Thanks for joining. Lizzie! Oh my gosh, how are you? Lizzie is in the chat on Instagram. 
hope you're doing well. I haven't seen you in a while. Hope you've been good. See, that's what I'm saying, Alexis. If we did a cup, we could do a cute cone, or we could do a cute um, spoon. So maybe we should redo this vote. What do we think? Redo the vote? Add cup in there? Let me know. I know exactly how I could do a cup, so it would not be a, like a big ask. Jimbo is laying on my feet now. It's very cute. Oh my gosh, guys, this cat is too cute. Oh yeah, we're definitely adding chocolate spots. Um, okay, so we got that done. Now we want to add our little legs here. I like to add the legs up like he's sitting down like that. So maybe in more like this. That could be really cute. Yeah. Cup is a cute idea. Add cup, add cup. Okay, cool. Let's just do it right now while the vote is still like basically 50-50. So let's, let's try this again. Let's vote again. Cake cone. Sugar cone. Coin T. Cup. What um cone? Okay. There's the vote again. I'm gonna put my feet back under you, Jimbo. Don't move because you're a good foot warmer right now and it's very cute. There we go. Good boy. <laughs> That's so cute. Gosh, I wish you guys could see how adorable. I have a cat laying on my feet right now. It's so sweet. Okay. Where do we put these? Just a little baby. Anybody know what I'm quoting when I do that? Oh, Ron, you just a little baby. <laughs> Come on, Ron, you just a little baby. I do that quote all the time, and Jules is always like, what are you quoting? <laughs> uh, I'm going to go a little wide with the legs, actually, this time. Let's see what happens. Or do we want them inwards? No, I want them outwards. Okay. Hi, Graceful Creations Crochet on uh, on Instagram. And then we had someone else join on Instagram. Chocolate Sp Oh, yeah. Oh, hello. Uh, okay, I'm going to vote for... I'm actually going to vote for that one because I want to see what that looks like. I'm curious. Uh, Michelle says they're a space nut like me because John Glenn orbited on your sixth birthday. Wow, that's awesome. Uh, wow. What? Hey, okay, Space Nut Michelle. What kind of things would you like to see in our space-themed season? Like, what are you expecting? Or, or less, what are you expecting? What would you just like to see? What kind of stuff would you like to see me crochet for our space-themed season? Um, I'll give you a few little little Easter eggs into what I'm thinking of making um i'm considering on top of just doing the rocket and the stars and stuff like that i'm considering doing a space rover i'm considering doing a satellite um i'm strongly considering making a an alien plushie uh, i really i think i'm gonna do an alien plushie but obviously i could use other things too what other things would you like to see in our uh space themed seasonal crochet kit Maybe asteroids? That could be kind of fun. Um, oh, someone said that we should do a space, uh, like a black hole bag, which I thought was like a super cool idea. Unfortunately, the yarn in the kit, I don't know if we have the right yarn to do a black hole because I don't think black yarn is actually included in the kit. There's like a small amount of black yarn, but definitely not enough for a bag. 
So it might just have to be like a separate pattern that's not necessarily for the kit. I do like the idea though. I think that was maybe Zoe that had that idea last week. Can't remember. Okay, I'm just gonna double knot this end in there too. Once we have the main part of this ice cream done, by the way, it's, I, in my opinion, kind of smooth sailing from there. Oh my gosh, Jimbo, are you actually asleep right now? Stop. You're so cute. Wow. He's asleep on my feet. What am I supposed to do? A dino astronaut. Oh my gosh, space burbs. Dude, chirp a little. That's a fun idea. I like that idea. Space burbs? Burbs in space that's a fun idea it's such a silly idea that is so up my alley <laughs> i love doing weird things with like a little space helmet oh my gosh that's so cute that's gonna be a a, a strong maybe a telescope Ooh, a telescope's a really good idea R rw phillips that's a great idea I, I bet you I could even do a telescope that you pull out. That would be really cute, like a toy. Dude, R.W. Phillips, that's a great idea. I love you guys. I love the chat. You guys are the best. <laughs> you guys have great ideas. Um, a dino astronaut. Jimbo is a sweetie pie. Let's see, what other ones did anybody else say? Oh, bye, Moonrose Crafts. I hope I didn't miss you there. Oh, we could do an Easter theme next. Yeah, you're right. You're totally right, Crochet Treasures. That's a really fun idea. I love the telescope idea, though. That's super clever. I think I think you just sparked, like, my brain to... I think I'm going to be doing that tonight, even though I'm not supposed to. <laughs> Well, I'm supposed to be working on a, a like a big project for the future um, tonight, so that's what I'm supposed to do. But sometimes when you're supposed to do something, you don't want to do it. <laughs> you know what I mean? Sometimes I like I like to work on other things. Hi, Jimbo. Oh, you're awake. And now your belly's on my tummy. That's cute. Or, I mean, my feet. That's cute. That's that's cool. I'm good with that. You're a good foot warmer. I really wish you'd be in the camera, though. I wish people could see how cute you are. We could share your adorableness with the world. But you're just too obsessed with my feet and my knee. A space cow. It's spelled cow weird, right, though, Dejan. That was an Instagram suggestion. Let's see, there was another one there. A UFO, yeah, definitely. We actually already have a UFO. But uh, another kind of UFO would be fun. I, the theme is spacecrafts, you know? So what I was kind of thinking we could do as, like, the big pattern in the season is do, like, a customizable spacecraft where you can make different kinds of bodies, uh, are different kinds of like hulls for the ship and then like different additions that you can sew on and add to it. So that way you can make your own spacecraft however you want it to be. Um, that was kind of a goal that I, I had floating around in my noggin. Okay, I'm gonna stuff this up with all these extra threads and some stuffing of course. You know, waste not, want not. Waste not, won't not. I said that funny. <laughs> well, you know, waste not, won't not. And we're 
we're just going to pull it straight out. And we'll hold that to the side. We can use that stitch marker again later. A Mars Rover. Yeah, definitely. I think a Mars Rover is like just a super duper fun idea. Ooh, a space capsule with a parachute. Interesting, Michelle. That's a that's a unique idea. That definitely is a unique idea. I like that. More baby stuff. Yeah, definitely. Tina, I, I think I think I'm trying to so my goal here as we go through these seasons is that I want to do a healthy mix between like things you would give to a child and things that you want to make for yourself, which was kind of like a bit of the goal that I was doing for this season. I think we ended up with maybe a little bit more child themed uh, patterns for our sweet stitches themed season, but you know, I, I love it. I think this has been a really, really fun season, probably our most inspiring season yet. Uh, but I definitely think that next year... So, okay, so here's a little bit of insight on how I am thinking, how I've thought through our seasons and how I'm thinking through next year's seasons as I go. Um, so this year, I really... Uh, this past year, I really wanted to get some of these seasons... Uh, the, I'm going to say a word here, but this is not what I really mean. Out of the way is what I kind of want to say, but that's not what I really mean. I wanted to do these holiday themed seasons, these sweet stitches themed seasons, but I also knew that I like kind of like I knew I needed to have one of those, especially the holiday themed one. I knew I needed to do a holiday themed season for our seasonal crochet kits because I needed that as an option for people. But next year, now that I've gotten that out of the way, and a couple of these other seasons, like Sweet Stitches, I knew I really wanted to do this season. Um, but I also like, was, you know, I have other things I also wanted to do. So I was kind of like, okay, well, let's throw the Sweet Stitch theme season in here at the end. I'm so glad I did because I really, really, really like it. Um, but it wasn't like, I don't know. I have other ones that I wanted to do. So as I'm going through this next year, it's going to be much more creatively focused uh and more like we're gonna be more i don't know i think we're gonna have a lot of fun with next year's season so we're starting with the space themed obviously and we're gonna be doing a dinosaur themed season right after that to coincide with our new game um and then uh i guess this can be the kind of like hint announcement to the live stream uh uh, after our dinosaur themed season, uh, I've got a couple of ideas in mind. I do actually, I'm asking actually now for your feedback on what I should do for the seasons after that, um, which you can find in the Google form when you enter the giveaway, which will be announcing another, um, hint for the giveaway in just a moment as well. But, um, in fall of next year, the big plan is to do a, uh, a forest themed season in next year's fall because a lot of the colors that go with the forest themed season will be um, uh, will make it so that a lot of the holiday themed seasons uh, patterns will work as alternative patterns so if you want to crochet a bunch of forest themed things then you get that kit but also if you want to while you're making that forest themed thing season do like okay you know what actually let's also make a snowman and let's make a um santa like you'll a lot of the colors will kind of like work with each other so you'll be able to um kind of like shift gears if you want to to do something different also so um yeah that's kind of the plan a little bit uh, and then after that i do have a plan after forests but it's kind of kind of be up to what the what the community wants, which is why I'm asking for a lot of feedback right now, because I, I need I need to know what y'all want. Yeah, that's some ooh an international space themed or uh, a space station. That's a fun one. That's a good idea. A plumbus <laughs> from Rick and Morty. That's a funny idea. Oh, I'm so glad you like this season, Lene. I'm definitely been getting a little bit of mixed reviews on this season. I think some people really don't like this season and then some people really do like this season. So it's been a little bit all over the place, which has been interesting. I don't anticipate that's gonna be the case for our first three seasons of next year. I do anticipate that might be the case for our last season of next year because 
for the for it'll be season eight then right yeah because we're on season four right now so yeah season eight will be next year about this time uh i'm gonna be doing i i kind of want to make it so that the last season of every year is really um the most inspiring season for me like really creatively weird um for the first uh season of the new year so i was kind of thinking like um maybe burbs maybe puppets maybe monsters something create like really creative one two three four five six is kind of the idea that i'm aiming at okay oopsies there we go fix that up Uh, someone suggested on Instagram a Disney season. Uh, unfortunately, I don't want to do any seasons that are copyright, uh, like that I have to work against copyright infringement. So I do want to make them all like custom um, or, you know, my ideas. I don't really want to do anybody that has like a copyright and stuff because I don't want to get in trouble. So, uh, and I have gotten in trouble specifically with Disney in the past. So I don't want to mess with that. Um, because they could they can be a little mean <laughs> if I'm not careful uh, so yeah there's your there's your insight on the on the back end of a crochet designer's world okay so we've got our ice cream made um, let's just see how this fits in a cone first just so oh yeah that fits perfect in our ice cream cone great okay so next up after doing that um we want to make uh well we want to first choose what you guys voted for our cone so let's go ahead and end that poll now what do we go with a cup great cool um in that case let's use our we'll use our white yarn let's use our white yarn from our um our seasonal kit Cause that's a you know that's a great idea um okay so that's a good start uh the other thing we wanted to do what was the other thing we wanted to do chat vote on something oh yes that's right okay so uh two things first off giveaway second um okay wait so yeah let's let's write this all down we want giveaway we want to vote on one of four options here for our addition to our ice cream and we want to get crocheting our cup um and i also have i gotta go to the bathroom so you know, that's that's another thing too um yes jimbo okay so first off a uh, hint for our giveaway if you want to enter the giveaway um just use the link in the description of this video there is something hidden under this the first hint was it is an animal or a creature, an animal, whatever. Uh, hint number two was it has scales. At least I'm pretty sure it has scales. Um, third thing is that it... Uh, oh, this one's, this was a pretty big hint, actually. Um, the third hint is that it stands on two feet. It stands... It's bipedal. It stands on two feet. Um, what, oh, what could it be? Uh, go ahead and enter the giveaway now. Um, again, there should be a link in the chat and in the description of this video. Um, so there's that first thing. Second thing is vote on which one. So we're going to choose four options here. Um, let's go with, uh, let's go with, since we're already going to have chocolate chips, I think we should get rid of sprinkles. I don't think that should be in there. Um, I think this is too confusing. The stick thing, it'll, I think it'll look just like too much like a straw. And we're already going to have like a spoon probably that we're going to make. So that leaves out these four. We've got chocolate sauce, a flake. Um, we'll write it down as a Cadbury flake, a cherry or a wafer. So I'll go ahead and throw that into the chat now and we'll vote on that. What additions to uh, should we add? Should we make? So we've got 
got a um, chocolate sauce. Don't bite me, Jimbo. What were the other ones? Chocolate sauce, flake, cher uh, Cadbury flake. or a cherry okay that vote is now in the chat so we got that going um i'm gonna be back in just a moment uh and then we'll get started crocheting our ice cream cone but i'll be back in just a second also if you're watching on uh instagram i'm gonna stop this live stream and restart it to like kind of send that that out again to people so i'll be back in just a moment uh and uh yes bye say bye instagram we'll be back in just a second boom okay instagram has been ended i think Uh, I think we need to reopen Instagram there. Okay, so that's going there. Um, and I'm gonna go and I'll be back and I'll be back in like, give me three minutes. I gotta grab a coffee and stuff and stuff like that. So I'll be back in just a sec. Um, where's my hang in there? There it is, be right back. Okay, we're back. All right, what did y'all vote on? I mean, we're gonna keep the vote open for a little bit, but let's see, what am I voting on? Those are all kind of tough to crochet, I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna choose this one. Mmm, 
Interesting. It is up in the air. It could be anything. Am I, is my, am I on audio? Can you hear me? If you can hear me, put an emoji of uh, an ice cream cone in the chat. Okay, and then let's get the Instagram, the secondary Instagram going now. Live. Um, crocheting ice cream cones. All right. Okay, so we're back. We're continuing to crochet our ice cream cones. Um, I did remember that we needed to add a, okay, I, ice cream cones coming in on the emojis. Good, you can hear me, you can hear me. Um, we are going to be adding, uh, I forgot to add a butt crack to our ice cream because uh, duh, what kind of ice cream would it be without a butt? <laughs> Cause I mean, duh. Uh, so I'm gonna use a little bit of this extra yarn split into half. This. Okay, so we're making our ice cream cone here. We made our base ice cream. We uh, voted on uh, making, instead of a cone, a cup for our ice cream. So we're gonna make an ice cream cup. I actually think I'm gonna do an impromptu tutorial here as well, um, just so that I can uh, add this to the written instructions for the pattern. Um, so that way, like, you know, people can uh, make their own uh, cups because it's not actually in the tutorial yet how to make a, a cup for your ice cream. So, you know, I thought, let's do it as a video tutorial too. Um, it shouldn't be too difficult, I don't think, but we'll find out. It actually should take less time than making the cones, which will be nice. Give us more time for adding our customization to it. Um, and we're adding a little butt to our ice cream first though. There we go. And I'm just gonna bloop. And there, now he's got a cute little butt crack. How adorable. <laughs> I love doing that. All right, so let's put this guy to the side and start working now on our, on our cup for our ice cream cone. Or for our ice cream. Uh, we can put our green yarn to the side too. We don't need that anymore. Oh, interesting, Pixelina. That is an interesting... I was going to do some kind of like wafer looking stitch. Um, I was just going to make it up though, uh, Pixelina. So... We'll see though, like we'll see what you guys vote on. Um, the current vote is, uh, yeah, current vote is for wafer. So if we get that, we will, I don't know. I'm gonna figure it out as I go. I do need to pull up a picture for a wafer though too, I think. Um, oh, I'm sorry, uh, uh, that's right. I needed to do a tutorial here for this uh, cup. Wow, I, my brain like had a fart there. It was like, cup? Um, okay, so for our cup, um, we're gonna start with the magic loop. Uh, and I'm not gonna go through too much detail for this tutorial uh, because a lot of this is just basic crochet. Um, but yeah, just for reference. Um, so we're gonna start with a magic loop. We're gonna basically do uh, the cone lid in the crochet pattern. So if you, um... hmm, that's interesting. I just realized I wrote the pattern wrong. So I, I'm gonna need to go back and and fix our crochet pattern uh, after this because I didn't put in the cone lid correct. But anyhow, it's gonna be uh, six single crochets into the magic loop to start. Um, yeah. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, and six. I definitely think that would be really fun, Tyg. Uh, Tyg says that we should do an, uh, an asteroid on fire for our next seasonal crochet kit for the space themed kit. 
Um, I think that's a really good idea. I, I do have some ideas on how I do it also. And the colors for that should be included in the kit. So yeah, I think we could definitely make that. Um, and I'm gonna fold this over. We're just gonna use this as our stitch marker as we go, as we make our cup. All right, round two of the cup, we're just doing an increase into every stitch around to go up from six stitches to 12 stitches. Uh, pretty easy. In fact, most of this should be pretty straightforward. Um, we're just gonna keep increasing it up basically after this. We're essentially making um, the, yeah, we're making, we're making like the bottom of the ice cream cone right now. Yeah, we're gonna go up to 24 stitches here is the goal. So this is gonna be our first round of increasing up from six to 12. Tina says that for our spacecraft season, we should do an astronaut, an alien, a UFO, and a spaceship. Maybe the astronaut could get into the spaceship. It could be a cute baby uh, uh, disturbance if the UFO is in the middle. Yes, I, that's exactly actually what I was thinking um, is that I'm doing a... Actually, do I have it in here somewhere? Oh, I do. Check this out. Okay, so um, in the space-themed season, uh, there are these this UFO that I have on the on the website right now. So it's just a simple UFO that uh, it's like a very actually it's not too crazy. But what's really fun about it is that there's this alien. There's the alien that you can add to the UFO. You can poke the top of the UFOs in, and then you can add the alien into the UFO itself. So now there's like a an alien in the UFO, right? So I thought that was really fun. That's a cute idea. Let's do the same thing with the rocket ship. So this is my prototype for it. Um, it's not done. I don't even have the fins on it yet, uh, but it's just basically uh, the basic rocket ship kind of design here. And of course, this is a rough draft. This is not finished yet, um, but uh... oh yeah, <laughs> but um, the, uh, the idea here is the same as the the UFO, you can poke the top of this in. And I don't think this is the perfect pattern yet. Um, I do think this is a very, very rough draft. But then I have this little spaceman who I made way too big for this ship. But the goal is that he would sit inside the ship and he'd also look like like the window of the ship. I It works, like it kind of works. Like he's in there, he's not coming out. but. It just, he's just a little bit too big where his arms are sticking out and it's just not the way I really wanted it to look. And I don't have the fins on or anything yet. So this is just like a prototype. Um, but yeah, that's kind of what I've been starting to think of for uh, the space themed. So yeah, if you want, if you, if you think that's interesting and you can't wait to see more, you know the dealio, like, subscribe uh, and become a uh, annual pass member and you'll get the next seasonal kit early uh, and it'll come with a pin and everything. So. Highly suggest you should do that. Uh, obviously, I have a lot more secrets in store for the space-themed seasons, too. So there's going to be, uh, you know, just like all the other seasons, there's a lot going on. All right, so I finished up round two here. Now I'm on round three. For round three, I'm going to do a single crochet in the first stitch and then an increase in the next. And then I'm going to repeat that six times around to go up from 12 stitches to 18 stitches around. I'm just going to start with our first one here. Uh, oh, I forgot the stitch marker, too. stitch marker up and we're going to do a single crochet in our first one uh, and actually I'm going to cut this yarn because we don't need it anymore and it's just going to get in our way and then we're going to do an increase into the next stitch right here one and two just like that and we're just going to do that all the way around to go up to 18 stitches around easy squeezy lemon peasy Have I ever given the baby mobile to your friends? How did they react? Uh, you know what? Chirp a little. I didn't. I never did. I was kind of dreading uh, when people are going to ask about that. I actually still have that baby mobile and it is not. I, I, I still have it. <laughs> so now it's going to be a baby mobile for my baby one day. <laughs> 
Or I'll give it to a friend that uh, just had a baby, actually. Um, yeah, I actually totally dropped the ball on that. And I felt really bad about it. Yeah. Um... Oh, I love to add butts. That's what you're saying. <laughs> yes, I do. I do like adding butts to my crochet. That is definitely true. Okay, so this is the end of round three here for our cup. Pull our stitch marker up. And we're going to continue to round four. We're going to increase it up yet again. We're going up from 18 stitches now to 24 stitches around. So that is our goal here. We want 24 stitches. To do that, we're going to single crochet two times. One and two and then we're going to increase up to uh after that so two single crochets one increase meaning two in the same stitch one and two like that and then we're going to repeat that uh six times around so just keep repeating that all the way around two single crochets crochets, <laughs> and then an increase two single crochets and then we'll just keep repeating that. That's gonna bring our stitch count up from 18 to 24 stitches around if you are also crocheting a cup with us. And this is gonna be the base of the cup and then we're gonna start increasing, uh, or we're gonna start building the, the edge of the cup after this. One, two, and then an increase here. One and two in the same stitch. Okay. So crack our fingies. Um, one more repeat of that. We'll be one and two, and then our increase here. One and two in the same stitch. Stitch marker up and continue on to round five. For round five, we're doing a slip stitch into the front loops only of all the stitches around. Uh, so that just means that we're going to take our crochet hook here. We're going to go into that front loop only right here and just do a slip stitch. Pull a loop through and pull a loop through. And we're just going to repeat that all the way around till we get to the end of the round. Um, that's going to be 24 slip stitches total. Four. Five. Actually, um, I would say... Uh, Meow Playground Gaming. Uh, I would say that this is actually not too difficult. Um, uh, at least what we're doing right now, I would say is maybe like a, I, I, this actually is probably even easy. Um, maybe not beginner, but definitely easy. Uh, it's a lot easier than doing the cake ice cream cone, which is the one back there. That's that's a tricky cone. That's a tricky, because we're we used actually a different uh, stitch in that cake cone um, that's called the moss stitch. Uh, we use that for the handle of the crochet. Uh, so it's actually kind of a brand new technique. So yeah. All right, so we're just slip stitching in the front loops. Oh yeah, triple little, I'm totally the same way. I keep so many, I, I always keep one copy of everything that I crochet at least. And then I um, I usually actually uh, give away a lot of my crochet. I don't really ever sell my crochet, um, which people are sometimes surprised about. Uh, okay, so now after I've done all that round of just slip stitching, I'm gonna work into these back loops to start creating the height of our cupcake, uh, I mean our cone. Um, the first thing I'm gonna do actually is this special technique that I figured out the other day where you pull your loop out and then I'm gonna go into the front of the, the first slip stitch that we made right here and then pull my loop through that slip stitch like that. And then after I do that, and we're gonna pull the yarn a little tighter and we're gonna do a chain like that. This is gonna create just a little bit cleaner of an end for the end of this and let it sit up a little bit, just barely better, um, which will be nice. And now we're gonna work into the unused back loops only from our last round, which if you follow in to your piece, you can find your first one like that. It's gonna be right after our stitch marker that we've been using as well. Here, I'll come a little closer. And now for this round, we're just gonna be doing single crochets into every single stitch around. There should be still 24 stitches around as you go. 
So just one round of all single crochets for 24 stitches. Our goal here again is that we're just starting to create the, um, the height for our cup. Once we start this height though, we're gonna change over really quick and increase up in our next round to get the, um, the width that we need so that the ice cream really fits in there. And you'll kind of see how it's making this weird little like kind of like double, double layer, which is super interesting. I actually have been thinking about how we could use this sometime in the future. Like maybe this could be a really cool way to make an eyeball or something. I don't know. I've, I've been really considering like, whoa, that's cool. What can we do with that? Style and leather. Thanks for joining. One sec. There we go. Oh, Raish, how you doing, Raish? Oh no, your son has a toothache. Thank you, Tylenol. He's resting now so I can watch in peace. <laughs> oh, well, a toothache is tough. That is a, that sucks. I hope you, uh, I hope, I hope he feels better. And hello, Alana. How are you? You got to go to Cold Stones now. Yeah, you definitely. It's the perfect timing. Okay, so we got one there. We got one there. I think I got one more back loop only right here to finish up this round. And that should be 24 stitches. I, I should probably count my stitches though. So I'm gonna fold this inside out like this to, to be more of our shape of our cup. You can kind of see how it's gonna to come together and it's gonna to go around our guy's body like that. Pull that out a little bit. And uh, let's count our stitches just real quick. So we got starting here, one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We're looking for 24. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 21, 22, 23, 24. Perfect. We are on count. Okay. Uh, our next round, we're going to increase up. So for our next round, we're going to be doing... Um, seven single crochets and then one increase three times around. So seven single crochets, one increase to go up from 24 stitches to 27 stitches. And then after this round, it's just gonna be a lot of just regular single crochets. Uh, and that's gonna be the gist of the cup. Honestly, it's pretty not too tough. One, two, three, four, five six and seven single crochets and then an increase one and two and then I'm just gonna repeat that all the way around four oh cat cat four one one eight thanks so much uh, that's from Instagram they say that uh, thank you so much for sharing the videos I've taught you a lot that's so cool I'm so glad that I've taught you how to crochet better. Um, that's obviously the goal, so that's awesome. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then an increase up right here. Ooh, Tina, what is that? Tina said that um, you've never heard about the march stitch. What is the march stitch? Is that a type of stitch or am I just being silly? I've never heard of that before. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Ooh! What the heck was that? Oh, a magnet. Our magnet fell. <laughs> Scared me. And then our increase. Um, Meow Playground asks, am I the only one who still finds magic rings hard after lots of detailed tutorials? I don't know. Let's find out. Anybody else have a difficult time with the magic loop? Um, and, uh, what's your favorite way to make the magic loop? Tig, 
asks, uh, how was me and Jules's week? Oh, that's very nice of you to ask. Um, Ty, we had a great week. Uh, let's see, what did we do this week? Uh, Jules just had improv class yesterday. Uh, she's been doing uh, improvised musical theater. Oh my gosh, musical theater improv, it's crazy. It is the most interesting thing ever. I'm so excited to see her uh, do her show. She has a show at the end of the class and I'm very excited about it. Um, but yeah, it's way, way cool. Uh, and so she did that yesterday, which was a lot of fun for her. Um, and today actually is her last day of work at her company because she quit her job, which is really cool. She just quit her job. Uh, she got a new job with one of our best friends, uh, owns a, an architecture firm and basically stole her, um, said, Hey, you want a job with me? I'll give you less work and pay you the same amount. And, and also it's like her best friend in the world. So she was like, yeah, she was really scared, but I'm so proud of her. I'm so proud of her for taking that, uh, for, for pulling the plug. And it was just a really big deal. I'm just, I'm really proud of her. And uh, so today is her very last day of work, which is a pretty big deal for her. She's been at this company now for five, almost six years, I think. So funny, that's actually how long I was at the last company I worked for before I quit my job for Club Crochet. Look at that, that cup is coming together really cute. Um, okay. Oh, shoot. I totally didn't even say what that round was. I just went and did it. Um, so we're doing three rounds, round 17, 18, and 19 of just single crochets after we increased up to 27 stitches. So we have three rounds of just single crochets, 27 stitches around. Pretty, pretty easy, honestly. It's not too complicated. And after I finish this uh, crochet, this tutorial this weekend, I will throw this um, cup pattern onto the website. Um, in the ice cream cone pattern. So that way you have like an alternative option. If you don't want to make a cone, you can make a cup. That's our goal here. Let's get our ice cream back in here. Oh, we don't want to cover up our pie though, our cow pie. Here, we'll put our ice cream right here. How many people have submitted to the giveaway, by the way? I'm very curious. I am very curious to see how many people get the answer right for the giveaway. Um, just as a reminder, we're doing a giveaway right now. You can find it by just using the link at the bottom of our YouTube video um, or in the description of the YouTube video and in the chat for YouTube. Uh, we're giving away a pin of your choice, so you get to win a pin. And all you have to do to win is guess what is under the ice cream cone back here. There's there's an item, there's a crochet under this ice cream. Uh, and I've been giving hints throughout the live stream about what it is. Our first hint was that it's an animal. That's a pretty solid hint that it's an animal that's under there. Our second hint was that it has scales. Pretty, pretty solid hint. At least I'm pretty sure it has scales. The third hint was that it is bipedal, which I think is probably the biggest hint. Bipedal meaning that it walks on two legs. So go ahead and guess now, uh, and I'm gonna choose someone randomly from the, from the correct answers to be the winner. I'll of course email them to let them know that they've won and uh, We'll announce the winner here on the live stream at the end of the stream. But yeah, that's our goal. Um, I'm on my last round, by the way, of just single crochets. Uh, I would say this would be round, let's see. Let's see, we have four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so this will be the end of round ten coming up. And I think this is going to be all the height that we really need for our ice cream for a cup. Well, of course, we'll look in just a second to see what the dealio is. <laughs> the stress bus guessed the item wrong. <laughs> yeah, I kind of tried to make it a little bit tough. You know, I wanted to, I wanted to make it tougher. You're welcome to wait to the end of the live stream if you want, but I'm going to do the announcement of the winner at the end, so... Don't wait too long to guess what's under there. Okay, 
So I think that'll be all the height that we need for our ice cream cone. Let's let's see how it looks, or for a cup. Oh yeah, look at that. He fits in there perfect. Oh my gosh, that is the that's perfect. Okay, there's only one more thing I want to do for this round for the cup, and that's going to be to do a slip stitch into every single stitch around. Uh, do we want to work only in the front loops only? Nah, we can just work into both loops. We're just going to do a slip stitch all the way around, and we're going to do it into both loops. And this is going to be a way that we, it's honestly, it's for a couple of things. The first reason that we do a slip stitch in every stitch around here is because we want to add a, a border um, to our cup. That's, that's the first and probably the main reason is that we just want a little bit of a border. But also as we do these slip stitches, it also simultaneously slightly pulls this top round in to be just slightly tighter than uh, our last round, which makes it uh, hold on to our ice cream cone a little bit better. So that's why we add slip stitches into this last round of the uh, of the cup for our ice cream cone, our ice cream. But yeah, we're just about there. Last stitch here pretty good um, you might actually also recognize this pattern from our uh, our cactus patterns because this is a very similar way that we made the the body of our cactuses I mean sorry the pots for our cactuses which looks like this so see it's, it's almost actually it's the exact same way and this is our little cactus in their pot okay the last thing I want to do is I want to hide this end in um, so I'm just going to thread this on a needle and hide it into the back of, a, of our next stitch right here. Hide this on the inside for a few stitches. There we go. A little tighter. Perfect. Cut it short. And spread it out a little bit. All right, there we go. We got our ice cream cup and our little cone in there. Look at that. Okay, so technically we have made our ice cream now, but there are a few different things that we want to add to this um, to really complete our ice cream up. The first is, what are we going to make to add to it? So let's see what you guys voted on now. End the poll. What do you guys got for me? Ooh, chocolate sauce. All right, we're gonna make chocolate sauce for our ice cream. It's gonna be dripping down into the tongue here. That's our goal. So here's how I'm gonna do this. We're gonna use our brown yarn from our kit. Now, luckily, we're gonna just basically do the start of our ice cream to get this cut, uh, to get the chocolate sauce going here. Um, it's gonna be like the basic first few rounds of our ice cream because our yarn is slightly bigger than the ice cream yarn It should just make it big enough so that it slides onto the head very easily and then on our last round We're gonna do our drippy little edge, which uh, I don't exactly know how I'm gonna do that just yet But we're gonna figure it out together. So let's start by Starting um, So basically I'm gonna do the first like three or five, three to five rounds of our, of the top of our ice cream. And then we're going to go from there. We're also going to use the tail end from these, uh, from this chocolate sauce that we'll add to use for, uh, the mint little chips that we're going to add, uh, throughout the, the pattern as well. Cause he's, you know, it's a mint chip ice cream. He's got to have the chocolate chips. Mint chip ice cream, by the way, I didn't say this in the beginning, that is my favorite ice cream. Actually, I take it back. Vanilla is my favorite ice cream because I'm a, I'm basic. But uh, second favorite ice cream, I really, really like mint chip ice cream. So I'm super glad you guys voted on that. Um, I'm also a big fan of strawberry ice cream. But don't don't hate me. I don't love chocolate ice cream. I don't. It's it's fine. It's fine. Like it's not my preferable ice cream. And I know that is a uh, not the preferable opinion, but it's just true. Oh, you know what? Let's do another hint for a giveaway, actually. Okay, so again, um, the hints so far are 
It's an animal. It has scales. It walks on two legs, bipedal. Third, a fourth hint, I've got two more hints. A uh, fourth hint is that it has sharp teeth. Ah, sharp teeth. There you go. Um, yeah, I think we're crocheting the chocolate sauce here because I'll have more control. Well, I'm, I, I honestly, I think we're gonna crochet the chocolate sauce because I don't think I have enough needle felt to felt it on. Although I could do try and do needle felt. Yeah, uh, yeah, we're gonna do this way. I feel more confident with crocheting it. And I think we should go with what I feel most confident in at our current, at our current junction. Hey, Takoyaki Crochet is in the live stream on Instagram. How you doing, Takoyaki? Hope you're doing well. Takoyaki just made a bunch of um, pod people for a uh, an event and is is showing them off in an event. It's very very cool. We were talking about it in messages earlier. Uh, I think last week. I know. I'm sorry. I just I don't let I I don't hate chocolate ice cream it's just not my favorite ice cream gosh i made a cardinal sin by saying that out loud <laughs> oh let's leave that in there do i have a pattern for the cow pie um i don't think i have a direct pattern for the cow pie uh, i do have all those sections as different patterns on the website the main pie pattern is just the pie pattern on the website it's at um you can find that at clubcrochet.com slash pie uh that's going to be the base of it the nose is uh using the pig nose from the bonimals pattern so if you have made a bonimal that's how I made the nose. The ears are also the pig ears from the bottomal pig um, on the website. So those are the main parts. The horns are the noses for goblins, actually. There are goblin noses that are made in beige for, um, for the horns. Yeah. Boysenberry ice cream is the best flavor fight me that's what zoe said in the chat uh i don't think i will fight you on that because that sounds really really good it sounds really good it sounds just like a more natural sorbet and i think the thing that i don't like about sorbet that much is that it sometimes tastes unnatural so you know could be a good fix there i also love like raspberry ice cream oh my gosh i just like it who doesn't just like ice cream though ice cream is just great I really do think that probably 99% of the world likes ice cream. I'm sure there's a couple of weirdos out there that don't like ice cream, but not here. I think everybody likes ice cream. Okay, so that's going to be the start. See how it's going to go over? It's going to be kind of like a chocolate shell. Looks like he's got a little yarmulke on now. So we're going to make it a little bit bigger now. Um, we'll increasing it up to 27 stitches, I think, and then we'll do the drippy out after that. So we've got one more round of increasing. One, two, three, four. Seven, and then increase. Wow, I'm really hungry. I haven't had, I, I just realized, my bad guys, I forgot to eat breakfast. So I'm running on fumes. <laughs> but we're almost done with the pattern, so I'll eat, I'll eat when I'm dead. I can eat when I'm dead. You can't stop me. Lemon custard ice cream? What, Miss Popcorn? What is that? That I mean, that sounds great. Nutella ice cream? Okay, now I don't like chocolate ice cream that much, but I probably would love 
Nutella ice cream. So he says, as a vegan, I'll say that coconut based ice cream sucks, but <laughs> that's funny. Yeah, I can imagine. I mean, it's better than no ice cream though, right? It's gotta be better than no ice cream. <laughs> I don't know though. You let me know, Zoe. How do you feel about that? One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, cool. Wait, that's as big as we want it to be. I think, I think. We, we might make it bigger, but I don't know. I think actually, um, okay, you know, we could do, I'm worried about doing one more round bigger because the, the drippies are gonna go down, you know? It's gonna be like, doop. Do. It, I'll probably be doing like slight waves and then like a big wave down here. So I actually don't know if we want, I think that's as big as we want it, which it looks a little weird right now, but because we just can't go too big with this. And we can do bigger drips on the back too. But we still want a lot of face to be shown, you know? We don't want to go overboard. So let's go ahead and uh, start the drippiness now. Let's get them drippy started. Or do we want one more round? One more round bigger. And then drippies? Or drippies now? Let's do one more round and then drippies because I have an idea. My idea is this. If I do another round here of single crochets, but then every now and then in the single crochets, we create the base of where the drips are gonna be. Kind of like how I did the edges of the lava for the volcano. I think we'll have more control over how big the drips are then. So basically what I'm going to do is like do one, two, we'll do like three single crochets. And then we're going to do a couple of chains. One, two, three chains. This maybe. Yeah. And then we're going to slip stitch up the chain or down back down the chains. So we're skip the first one and slip stitch two, one and two like that. And then uh, we'll just keep single crocheting around in the next stitch like that. So now when we come back around, we'll have this to work with that we can go up and do crochet around that. And it'll start to create like, I mean, it, honestly, that doesn't look that bad already, but it'll create even thicker drips down our piece. And I think that's as long as we want any of their drips to be on, at least on the front. On the back, we can do longer ones, but you can see how it's gonna be like that. Like he's going to be like, bam. We'll do a longer one back here. Actually, maybe we don't even need to come back around for these drips. Yeah, you know what? I don't even think we need to come back around for the drips. I think this will work. Okay, wait. So, so going back a little bit more, let's do instead of two and then slip stitch, let's do a single crochet instead to make the edge of this drip a little thicker and then slip stitch one like that and then just continue on like normal and that'll be a little bit cuter of a drip and then we'll do it again with a longer one here so this is going to be i mean actually this is going to be the back kind of we're going to make this like the side back here so that's where it's going to start so it's going to be like this I'm gonna do one there, we'll do a long one, and then I'll just do some like subtle, and then a long one, and then a long one again. So I wanna try doing a long one here, not like too long, maybe like four chains down. Is this too close to the last one though? Eh, let's find out. It's not gonna hurt. One, two, three, four, because we can always do it again. And then we'll skip our first chain 
and let's do a single crochet into the next one right here. And then I'll do, let's do actually two single crochets and then a slip stitch after that. So two single crochets and a slip stitch and then keep doing our single crochets around. One after that. Okay, let's see how that looks. So this is gonna be like this. And obviously we're gonna sew this on. So you see, how, see what I mean? It's gonna be like drippy, drippy. Uh, actually, it's gonna be more over here. Drippy chocolate. <laughs> Looks like he's got little hair. It's kind of cute. Uh, and then we wanna do just waves. For the waves, I'm gonna do uh, intermittent two single crochets and then two half double crochets. I might even do two double crochets. Two, two half, I mean two, sorry, two singles then two half, like that, and then back to, you know what, nah, we won't need to do doubles. Then we'll go back to singles. One, two for singles. Let's see how that looks. I want this to be like right here, like this. Uh, no, I think we need to be even more oozy drippy. So let's pull those out and we'll do, we'll do still two of the single crochets, then we'll do the half, and then maybe we'll do a double after that. And then back to half. And then back to single. So it's a little bit more out. And then, you know what, let's do another, let's do a half and then a single. So half and then single. So it's just like another little bump right there. So it's supposed to be like this. This is gonna go over the head, like that. And then we'll just do one more single and then do our drip for the tongue drip. This is gonna be funny because it's gonna like kind of barely cover the face too, right? So. Yeah, we'll do one more single and then our drip. Yes, I can repeat the hints. Um, the hints for the giveaway are as follows. Hint number one, it's an animal. It is an animal. Hint number two, it is a, a bipedal, walked on two legs. Actually, no, that was hint number three. Uh, hint number two is that it um, has scales. That's hint number two. So it has scales. It's an animal. Hint number three is that it is a uh, bipedal. It walks on two legs. Four. Let's see how this looks, by the way. Right? That's pretty good. That's pretty good. How do we feel about this so far, guys? I kind of don't like this part. I kind of don't like that part. So I'm gonna make it more drippy. Let's go back and fix those up. So to do that, I'm just gonna do single half. Let's do a little chain thing here. So one, two, I'll just do two chains and then a single crochet and then back to a half double crochet. We're just gonna kind of mix it up as we go. Nope, I don't like that. I made a hole, and I don't like a hole. So we're gonna do not a half double crochet. We'll just do it as a single crochet, and then we'll do drips. So we're just gonna make drips using chains then. Chains and single crochets. Okay. One, two. Let's do another one. See how that looks. And then one, two, it's so like this. Turn it around a little. Yeah, that's a little bit better. Let's do one more single, and then we'll do that longer drip. One, two, three, and a single, and a slip stitch. 
Um, oh, I'm sorry. The fourth hint was that it has sharp teeth. And I'll give the fifth hint um, after I finish our drippy edge here. One, two, three, four, five. It's you know it's hard to do. It's it's just hard to do multiple things at once. Single, single, and then we'll just do some steps. One, two, and then another single. For that. Okay, let's see how that looks. So that's where this drip is going to go this and then this part's going to go over like on the other side of the eye like this you know you see it you see what's you see how we're doing it looking pretty good i do kind of think we need a cherry <laughs> I think we're gonna actually probably add something else on top of this, or sprinkles or something on top on the chocolate. And then we're gonna do, we're just gonna keep going around. I'm gonna go a few more over here and then I'm gonna do a little drip, longer drip, little drip, and then another long drip back here and then I'll leave a couple more at the end. And then we'll just sew this on. Oopsies the camera there we go all right so we're gonna do one two let's do three and then another tiny drip one two and a single like that and let's do another single right here And then let's do like three stitches away from that. One, two, three, and then I'll do, let's see, so we got this there. Yeah, let's do a longer one back here. Another tiny one and then another long one. One, two, three, four, five. Do singles. And two, like that. And a couple more. One, two. Let's do a little tiny drip. Then one, two. Let's do like a medium drip here. Three. Slip. And then let's just do one single at this end here. And then we'll just do a slip stitch here to finish this up. And we'll leave some space in between these two. Look, it looks like a splatter. That looks that looks actually exactly like what we wanted it to be like though. Um, so I'm gonna use a pretty long tail end here for sewing on. We're just gonna pull the loop all the way through and I'm gonna hide it into the back of the next stitch just so it kind of mimics the end. It's a little bit easier to hide uh, where the ends of this is as we go. Uh, have I ever learned the double chain method? I have not. I'll have to look into that. The double chain method. Never heard of that. Okay, so I'm going back. A stitch here. Have you ever watched the movie Leprechaun? Uh, oh, is that the movie from Disney Plus? I love. If that's what you're talking about, I used to love that movie with the guy from Psych in it. I used to love that movie. I hope that's what you mean. Like the Disney, it was like a Disney Channel original movie. I don't know if that's what you're talking about, but that's the one I remember. Okay, so this is gonna be sewn on like this, and I know positively that we want this drip right there. So what we're gonna do is, I don't usually do this as often, but we're gonna put a pin right there to keep that one there. And you know what, we'll pin down a couple of these. Grab our pins here. Put that to the side. And we'll pin down, 
pin this one down there and we'll pin we'll pin this one down like that and we'll pin this one down here yeah it's pretty good throw one for good luck okay now we just need to sew this on and then we'll add other things in a bit um, and we'll add little chocolate chips but Maybe a cherry, maybe. Or sprinkles or something. Okay. So first thing is... Shoot. Where's the end of our round? Oh, it's right there. Okay, so I just went on the wrong side of this. Okay, so let's actually get rid of this one. Okay. Here goes nothing. Wish me luck. One... I'm just going to kind of like sporadically sew this on. I don't need to be, I don't think I need to be like too detailed with the sewing. As long as I get down all the drips. You know? Let's come out where that pin is. stitch and then we'll come we'll come up through where like this is We're showing this other drip down like that let's get this pin out of the way let's come up and just sew on this part Sorry, I'm so quiet. I know I get really quiet whenever I sew things on. Will I add the cup to the ice cream pattern, please? Yes, I will, Jill. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. You're you're not Jill. Uh, I I I forgot. That's your mom's name, I think. <laughs> but I can't remember. Does your name start with a C? I'm sorry. I, I I'm I'm. There's a lot going on. <laughs> sew this part on too. There's someone that just joined the Instagram chat that's name is Yarn Overdose. I love that name. That's such a good name. Yarn Overdose. Okay, let's pull this pin out. This is the this is the most important one though. I'm actually just gonna come up right where that tongue is. Just so the very bottom of the where we want this drip to be. Is this a song from the museum? I think it is. I miss Animal Crossing. I haven't played it in forever. And we're just going to go ahead and sew on this bottom drip as well. Let's go up and sew on the top of this part. Don't forget, we're going to use some of this to add little chocolate chips on the sides, too. Okay. 
We've been going for a while though, so I don't know if I'm gonna add a cherry. I want to add a cherry, it's just like, I just, I just, I think I'm gonna get winded. I'm running low on fumes. I mean, we've been going for three hours already. It's a long stream today. That's all right, that's fun. Get out of there. Oh, shoot. I almost forgot I need to sew this part in. <laughs> Dummy. Okay, before I get too far ahead of myself, let's uh, add this part into the inside. It's going to be like right around like here somewhere. I'm just gonna pull it off to the side somewhere. And our goal here is just to have something that we can double knot to at the very end. Just with that end, at least. Um, okay, got a few more here. Pull this part down. Keep grading drip a little. Celia, I did remember. See, I told you, I, I did remember. I actually saw you, uh, I saw your chat, I think last night. And you said you were gonna be late, I think. And I was like, okay, gotta remember, her name is not Jill. <laughs> that is her mom's name. What is her name? <laughs> A long drip here. Boom. To the next stitch. go almost there almost there oh we need to name this doy guys we need to name our ice cream cone here let's throw a Q&A to get some name suggestions going let me just finish this part All right, I believe this is our last bit. Yeah, that's everything sewn on. Very nice, very nice. In, out. C'est bon. That looks pretty good. That's a pretty good, <laughs> looks pretty funny. Okay, double knot this. Minty Python? <laughs> Squinty Minty? Oh my gosh, you guys, those are good names already. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me get the, let me get the, the Q and A in there so I can get these and I don't forget them when we, when we vote. Okay. Name our ice cream cone. Okay. Throw the names in the Q and A. If you can't throw it in the Q and A, um, someone please add those names into the Q and A for the people that haven't, that like can't figure it out or, or is having difficulty with it. Um, uh, and please let me know who it is that came up with the name ideas so I can give them credit when we, uh, if they win the vote. Um, okay, next up, uh, I wanna add our chocolate chips to this. 
Um, so we just want to add some chocolate chips to the edge here. Uh, I kind of wish I didn't cut this yarn so I could use this, but that's okay. I'm actually going to use some new brown yarn anyhow. So. Okay. Well, let's do a single th thread. I was going to double it up, but... Well, let's do a single one and embroider a couple times if we want to. Um, all right, so I'm going to start back here. And I actually want to start with cheeks because I really, really want to add cheeks to this guy. Or gal. You know, like this. And then another one over here. Or we could do eyebrows. No, but you won't even be able to see the eyebrow over there, so it'll only be over here. So I'm just going to go up to, like, here. I think just one is fine for this cheek. And then let's do a chunk over here. A sprinkle over there, a chunk over there. See, so it's going to be like that is a good start for, I think, a cheek. Now I'll do a little chunk um, by doing a couple of rounds in a row, so like this. And we'll just kind of repeat it. Had more of a chunk look. One, two, three. I think three is pretty good. Let's see. One, two, and three. Yeah. Let's do another. Let's just do a sprinkle. I know that's going to get confusing. Let's do one right here. It almost looks like he has a black eye or something. Let's go right there, and then we'll do another one right here. We'll do another chunk over here. So it's just like a little sprinkle. And I'll do a chunk over here. It's like he's got a little bur bunch of birthmarks, just like me. I don't know, did you notice this? I, I guess you can kind of only kind of see on my arms that I, I'm very birthmarked up. I've got a big one right there. Look at that, I'm chunky. I got a chocolate chip. <laughs> also, I've got them all over my neck and face. <laughs> I'm chocolate chip. Just do a little bit right here. Let's do another one right here. I think there's enough room for a chip and a chunk over here. Chip and a chunk. chip down here and then another one for just under the eye for a cheek so I'll actually do it and down a little and then we'll do one in the kind of the same kind of spot as the other side for the other cheek like that and do you want to add a chip right in the middle Right here, maybe. Let's let's see how this looks. Let's do one right there to mimic the cheek, kind of ish. And yeah, we'll go like down right there. And why don't I do another one over here? He's freckles. Okay, he's got a little freckles on. That's cute. Uh, 
Uh, let's do some on the body. Just a couple. I didn't want to do, do too many on the body, but a couple would be kind of cute. There's one there. I mean, I, I really think that's adorable. He's like, he's got, he's a freckly boy. This is what it looks like in the cone, by the way. Or not the cone, the cup. He's a little messy. He's a little messy. But when you have all these chocolate chips, I mean, what are you going to do? You know, he's a chocolate chip boy. He's going to be messy. Let's give him a little freckle on his bum. Just like me. What? How do you know? I don't think we need any chunks on the body. Down there. And we don't need one on the front. Let's do pull it through. Let's pull it through like right here for right now. Actually, you know, let's go like right here. And then I'll just use this last one to make one last little chip. It kind of does look like a pistachio ice cream. One. And a double knot. Okay, and let's just stuff this back in. All right. There's our body and all our chocolate chips on there. Very freckly. Toss them in our in his little cup. Okay, the last thing I want to do, I think I want to add a cherry. I think I really want to add a cherry. And you know what? To save us time, I actually have a cherry that I've already crocheted. Because we've been going for a while, and I'd rather not. You know, I, I feel like I need to save a little time here. So, where did I hide that? There it is. Let's. I hope you guys don't hate this, but I think I think a, a cherry would be really cute on the top, and I just really I need to I need to rock and roll. This is making me so hungry. I need food. <laughs> but but it look at that. Like a cherry addition is is the cherry on top, literally. Oh my gosh, he kind of does look like a Frankenstein a little bit. <laughs> That's a, yeah. All right. Cherry on top. Here we go. Oh, actually, wait, hold on. We need to vote for the name. Oh, but do we need to vote for a name for a cherry too? Okay, wait. Let's go ahead and start the vote for the name of our main one. Because we got enough, we got enough name suggestions to do a vote. So, let's see, we got that one. That's a good name. Hold on. Let's go. Um. Oh, that's a funny one. Hold oh, on. Oh, 
shoot, I messed that up. Hold on. Hold on, sorry, I, I typed it all out and then I clicked back by accident. And... Wait, what was the last one? No, I had a good one! Oh, that's what it was, Emery. Okay. Here are your choices for the, what to name it. We got, we got Squinty Minty. We got Chunk, of course, of course, Chunk. We've got um, Minchoco, which I kind of liked Minchoco. I was like, oh, that's an interesting name. Uh, and we got Emery, Emery the emo ice cream because he looks a little emo. Um, I'm going to go with that one personally. here. Let's do another one right here. Okay. What's that? And I'm actually just gonna hide this on the inside somewhere. So that I I don't think we need to like, really knot it down. Just pull it tighter. Like that. Okay. All right. Cut this close. I think that's the last part, you guys. I think that's the last part. Oh, wait, no, we need to do one little thing, which is, this is what I like to do. Okay, so here's the other thing I like to do. I like to make it so this cherry stem is sticking up. I take a needle like this. This is kind of dangerous, I know, because I don't want to hurt myself, but and then I just hide it on the inside of this yarn. And I could do other things. I could just like use glue or something, but this is just the quickest way to do it. And then we shove this in. We 
hope we don't accidentally poke our finger one day. The needle part is down though, so it's like, it's not gonna hurt us. But there we go. Cherry stem. Put them in our pot. And let's give him his, let's give him this too. You know, some luck. We'll give him his four-leaf clover like this. <laughs> it's kind of weird with the four-leaf clover, actually. So, no. <laughs> All right, let's toss these pins away. And what did you guys vote for the name? Oh, and then we got one more hint. Okay, so last hint, and then I'll give you like three minutes, and then we're gonna choose a winner. So last hint, so we've got um, for our giveaway, again, link in the description for entering the giveaway. Hint number one, it's an animal that's hidden under our ice cream. Hint number two, it is uh, has scales, okay? Hint number three, it is bipedal, it walks on two legs. Hint number four, it has sharp teeth. And hint number five, the most important hint, it's a very clever girl. Very clever. Okay, that is your last hint. Uh, I'm gonna give you just a few minutes to enter the giveaway, and then we're gonna reveal the winner after that. Okay, and while we're doing that, let's look at our ice cream and see what you guys voted for the name. The name is, ba ba da ba, Squinty Minty. All right, hello to Squinty Minty. Oh my God, that's a really cute name. This is Squinty Minty. Oh my God, it's so cute. And I love the cup edition. It's so cute. There's a little butt crack. How adorable is that? Oh my gosh, it's so cute. Hey guys, again, if you haven't yet, please like this video down below. We're trying to get 200 likes to unlock another giveaway next um, live stream. So far, this video has 145 likes, so it definitely could make it to 200. Um, so we're looking to get to 200 likes before our next live stream to unlock an additional giveaway next live stream. And we're just going to keep that ball rolling as we go. Um, okay. Now, for our giveaway. The hints again were, it's an animal, it has scales, it walks on two legs and has sharp teeth, and it's very clever. The secret crochet under our ice cream is, drum roll please. Oop, <laughs> you fell under there. I had pins to hold it in. A raptor! It was a raptor, a raptor. Isn't that cute? Okay, now to choose a winner. So let's end the giveaway. Responses, wow, there were not that many responses. I'm shocked. Okay. And we need a random number generator. Okay. Ooh, okay. A quarter of you got it right. A quarter of you got it right. Tw this is out of, so out of 12 people that got it right, we're choosing someone randomly. We have a winner. We have a winner and they are in the chat. I know they're in the chat because I can see them in the chat right now. The winner of our giveaway is 
Tig! Congratulations, Tig! You've won a pin of your choice. I'll be reaching out after this live stream to let you know and get your uh, get what pin you want and get it shipped out to you. Uh, here are some of the pins, by the way, so you can get some idea. But obviously, I'll send you something about that later. There's the other pin, and we got. Where's the? Where's our Jimbo pin? Oh, there it is. Wait. Boom. Here's our Jimbo pin. Ba -ba -da -ba. Congratulations, Tig. I'm so glad you won because you're in the chat and everything. Um, so I'll send you one of these pins uh, and I'll get your feedback on it uh, on which one you want after this live stream. Congratulations. Uh, okay. Guys, thank you so much again for watching. Uh, please, please consider supporting this channel if you really like what's going on here. The only way we can keep doing this is if you support. So if you would like to support other than liking, other than liking and subscribing um, below, uh, consider becoming a Club Crochet member. It's a great way to support the channel and you get a lot out of it. Um, you can learn more at just going to clubcrochet.com and it's a great way to support the channel. And consider purchasing kits, merch, uh, uh, pins, stuff like that in the chat or in the on the website. Um, again, it's a great way to support the channel. Um, purchase this pattern. It's it's only $2.99 this weekend um, and it has a full video tutorial and everything. So yeah, please consider supporting if you can. Uh, if not, I totally understand. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks for joining. Um, okay, guys, that's going to be it for me today. We'll be live again next Friday where we're going to do an Easter crochet along. Um, uh, thank you for the ideas, by the way. Uh, and yeah, thanks so much for joining again. Pasta la pizza. Happy hooking. Oops, I'm sorry, Mr. Ice Cream. Uh, and sorry, squinty minty. Uh, and I'll see you guys next week. Bye. 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 Oh my God. Stop. No, you hang up first. <laughs> Bye guys. Thanks for joining. <laughs>